Uh, it's a live stream, so, not a live yes. stream. Uh, so for any of us that are here uh, and chat for the first time over here in our event, this is our second time doing this. Um, to Oh, we have a stretch. Thank you so much. Oh, oh please. Um, I, so if you wish to donate tonight to Extra Life, the link is down below. Please use that to donate uh, subs and, and bits. And uh, also right here. Yes. Uh, in yes. the chat. <laughs> yes, in, in the chat. Uh, <laughs> You could uh, use that link or the link in the info box. Yeah. And it'll go directly towards the cause that we are raising all of this money for, for the Fall Initiative Extra Life. It is a charity that helps kids in tough situations play games, uh, video games, and tabletop games uh, and in order to give them the extra life that they deserve. Uh, they're a wonderful charity. We've helped them in the past. We had a Halloween spectacular last year, and we just kind of missed didn't miss the mark for Halloween this year. We wanted to put it afterwards because of other stuff. So mm -hmm. thank you to Extra Life uh, for everything that they do. And we are happy to support them in the, their endeavors. Use the link in the chat, the mm -hmm. link at the top of the info box. Uh, and throughout the course of this entire initiative, you can do some fun stuff in the, you can do some fun stuff depending on the show you're watching. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll leave that up to our lovely uh keeper tonight to for what he wants to you. do with them but um but yeah uh, we should real yeah. quick i would like to do some shout outs to those that have helped us out into uh this campaign today uh this yeah. lovely layout that you see here and all the art everything is done by our good friend uh dadley j jenkins who is uh on he's uh one of the people within this channel that helps to get everything done he has mm -hmm. taken his time and donated it to make this lovely layout um, and all the other layouts that you will see throughout this net event secondly we'd like to thank tabletop audio for um having a free audio uh, uh streaming platform where you can use uh, uh these 10 minute sound bites not just all for free sound effects and all these other things not on your streams or anything that you wish uh, they just hope they just ask that if you do stream them, uh, shout them out a little bit and show them some love mm -hmm. and send people their way. That's tabletopaudio.com. Please go check them out. They're fantastic. Um, but yeah, I think not, other, not anything else to do. Uh, it's time to get into this, may, right? Perhaps an introduction of all the players slash like their socials, just so oh, that okay. way people can get oh, a feel yeah, of who absolutely. they are. Well, yeah. Socials are down below, uh, well. but we'll <laughs> let people introduce. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that way, yeah. If you want to check out any of these lovely people, go check their uh, check out their socials down below. I believe it's all towards your TikToks. Uh, if you have any other socials, uh, I guess let them know. But yeah, uh, if there's anything else, if there's nothing else, uh, just a very tiny thing. Yes. Uh, personally, oh, yes. personally, today is a very special day for me too, which is also why I've been a little bit stressed out. It's just because. It's it's my birthday today, Woo! and I am happy birthday. I am so happy to be taking part in part in this initiative on my birthday. I initially didn't know if I was going to be able to, but I got some stuff lined up uh, where I was able to do it. So, uh, if you could donate to this cause, uh, that would be the best birthday gift that you guys in chat and the viewers at home could give to me is helping us support this. So. Uh, uh, just, let me just <laughs> exploit the earth revolving mm. around the sun a little bit more today <laughs> outside of my outside of my job and mm. tell y'all please please help us out here because it's all that i could ask for, for y'all to do um, and uh there is one yeah. more thing actually that i forgot to say oh. within the donations to sweeten the deal um for those that are donating at the very end of the streams, the very last one, we will be doing a raffle for a Hexwood Dice Box as well. So if you are donating, please leave your name um, within your donation so that we can put you down. And yeah, uh, any donation gets added to it. Uh, I'm going to say anybody that donates over like 10, you get it twice. So you get that double. Double uh, the raffle. Double yeah. uh, put in. Uh, and... I guess anything over, like, if you double 10, I'll, I'll add you again and again and again, mm -hmm. etc. Uh, we'll say that t every $10 is an additional entry into the raffle. Yes, what Dippy said. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, I think it's time.
Fred, are you do you think so? Do you think so? Do you think we're ready? You think so? Fred, are you ready? Are you ready? I am ready. I I don't have my lights up exactly how I want to. Y'all ready for this? But this will work. Oh, I love it. Three, two, one. The way that we see and interact with the world is completely perspective. You and I could both look at the same article of clothing and argue about whether it's a shirt, a dress, or a weird pair of pants. Or we can also argue about different periods of history because we come from different places. It can happen within the country or across the world. However, one thing that the Earth, slightly different than ours that this story takes place in, can all agree on is that there is no such thing as magic. There is no such thing as monsters. And those that, and the third, and those that say those things are unaware of the truth. About 50, 60 years ago, as our story does take place in the 1990s, early 2000s, something happened. Something caused everyone to forget. Not the first time that this happened in this world, except this was much worse. Everyone's true form has been hidden to them, or they're just unaware of it. That's why when you see people that are just out of place or don't feel comfortable in their skin, this is why. A regular looking person trying to work in a tiny cubicle is in actuality a minotaur being stuck in a three by three cube trying to walk around is gonna make a mess. Or a person that is trying to keep their balance but keeps stumbling, deep down they're just a tiefling with hooves but they don't see that and neither do you. The only way that you can see the truth is either A, witnessing something supernatural or B, being born with special gifts or something in between. It's fascinating how much people can go through life without being aware of something that's literally on their face. Whether that be a piece of oregano, a booger, or little horns coming out of the top of your head. But enough about what's going on in the overall world. Let's zoom in a little bit more to Washington State. Specifically, the Gig Harbor area. At this point in time, the population is a little under 6,000. It's a small little town. There's an island in the middle of it. It's, it's beautiful. It's green. It's a huge harbor area. If you're lucky, sometimes you can see floating jellyfish come by, or even a manatee, not manatee, or a couple of seal, a couple of seals. Those that go there typically are tourists, going to camp, going on hikes, or just trying to, you know, get away from it all after just being in the large city and the chaos of the Emerald City, Seattle. Let's zoom in a bit more. It is the rain season in Washington, meaning winter for the rest of the world. Or the rest of the United States, I should say. It's about 4 p.m. It's already dark there in Washington. And people, specifically, kids from the age of about 8 to 12 are heading home from school, taking the bus, most of them. But the group that we're focusing on is a group of six 10-year-olds on their bikes. They have their little lights on, they've got a little headlamp, makeshift, middle-class families. This area is very spread out though. And they're actually having to bike several miles to get home because the gig harbor is not necessarily big enough or they're just outside the boundaries of the school. They all are going down their path. Some of them come from different backgrounds. And it doesn't matter, they're friends. They continue onwards. One goes off on their own. No problem, they live in this little trailer park area. One continues on, we're a more wealthy establishment. Um, another goes off the other way. And then three boys, the three boys that are left, stop at a local snack shop 
just a quick place to pick up something hot to eat, some hot chocolate, some coffee if they want to. You know, a hot dog, convenience store. It's a gas station out in the middle of nowhere because it's pitch black and it gets scary when you're that young biking. They stop. Two of the boys are trying to get home. It's dark. They don't want to actually get hit by a car because that sometimes does happen. That's unfortunate. One of them, though, is saying, no, no, no. And he points over to the pinball machine. And he says, my birthday, <clears throat> my birthday was last week. And he pulls out a $20 bill. We can get quarters. And if we get enough tokens, this convenience store has a small arcade. We can win one of those. And he points to a Game Boy Color with um, Pokemon Fire Red available to get. I know, right? I agree. <laughs> the other boys agree. They pull out their change that they had saved up from their allowances or just money that you find. And for the next two hours, they spend all their money and voila, they want it. It's fantastic. They agree. Well, one of them did have to spend election money to get the little lay attachment because, of course, the Game Boy Color didn't come with it. Of course. But they agree that they'll take turns with it on weekends. The boy that was his idea and he spent most of the money took it for the first week. The other boys go home and he is ecstatic, but he's got to get home. He's the farthest away from this convenience store. He continues onward. He lives by far in the most remote area. Not to say that he doesn't live like near a main road, but it's about two mile just to get from where his houses from the actual solid pavement road. It's a bit stony, it's a bit overgrown, especially, and also very slick with mud. He's continuing onward, and there's a little voice in the back of his to tell him saying, this was a bad idea, you should have cut earlier, but he ignores it. He just won something that's going to entertain him for at least 40 hours, if not more, depending on which starter he chooses. But something happens. As he's going along, his bike slips. A twig gets caught in it as he's going through. He's not really paying attention too much to the path. He's traveled this path for a long, long time. And he's just careless. He's ecstatic. He wants to go home, talk to his parents, say, hey, something came up. You know, tell him a small fib. He doesn't want to explain that he just spent his 20 bucks on this instead of, you know, buying a pizza or doing whatever his family would suggest they do with the money. But his bike flips, and he does fall a little bit. He's okay. He's wearing his helmet. He's got some pads on. He's safe. But his bike's front tire is flat. Wearing his helmet. He's got some pads on. He's safe. Up. Oh. But his bike's front tire is flat. <laughs> wearing his helmet. He's got some... I'm hearing an echo. Is that just me? I think right now that was just you, yeah. Okay. Oh, I was I was hearing it as well. I heard it for like a split second. Weird. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> <laughs> he continues on the path. He, he's knees a little dinged up, but he'll be fine. Um, and now he's nervous because he's only made about the first half mile. He continues onward for about another twenty minutes. Now it's pushing eight o'clock. He's late for dinner and it's almost bedtime. He decides, and he's beginning to hear things around him. It is pouring rain. It is very difficult to see that. Even with the headlamp, it just makes it harder to see. Those of you that have hiked or been out in the rain with a light, you know how difficult it can be and how disorienting it can be. He's beginning to panic. He's beginning to feel knots in his stomach. He decides to leave his bike and just run home. It's taking too much time. It's slowing him down. He's just going to run. He then hears something behind him can't tell if it's something just hitting a branch, maybe a bird or a squirrel. It's hard to tell. Maybe a deer? He's onward. Now he's freaking out. He trips. This time hard, knocking the wind out of him. He's okay. Just gasping a little bit. He looks behind him. <laughs> Hours pass. 
about an hour and a half later, his couple of adults are going down the path, shouting his name. Aaron. Looking for him. And all they do find is still wrapped in its plastic container is the Game Boy Color with fire red. Don't know if you'd be willing to turn off the music, please. Ah, uh, you know what? It's fine. <laughs> but we're going to zoom away from that a little bit. About six hours prior. <sighs> Logan Baxter. It has been an unpleasant evening. It is very bizarre what you now see. And people just ignoring it. Because of your character specifically, you see things even stranger than what those that do see the truth see. You're not in Gig Harbor. It's too small of a town. The pubs there are nice, but eh, you're in a bit of a more factory town next to the naval base there, Brotherton. It's about a 20-minute drive from Gig Harbor, and there are some good spots there if you want to just sit there and think and just admire the beauty of the rain pouring down onto the harbor. But Brotherton is a good place if you just want to hide, get drunk, and just enjoy city life without being in the claustrophobia that is Seattle. What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> you said uh, I'm, I'm in my own place? You're in your own place or you're just walking around. It's really up to you what you're doing at this moment. It doesn't matter what I'm going to say. I'm probably waiting for a thing of a uh, cup of noodle to finish heating up in the microwave. Perfect. Uh, spicy or um, just regular? Oh, definitely spicy. Spicy Excellent. shrimp. Spicy. Spicy. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> we, we're not sponsored by Top Ramen, but we would love to be. <laughs> but oh my gosh, Top Ramen. <laughs> You're finishing your cup of noodles. Um, and there's a game on that you can watch if you'd like. There's also those, there's Cartoon Network's on right now. So you can watch some, you know, anime if you'd like. You could watch Friends if you want to. Actually, yes. Logan, why don't you describe what you look like? Uh, so being in his own home, um, he's definitely like you know kicked his shoes off so he's just you know in his socks and everything but he's got uh really baggy pants uh a hoodie that is clearly two sizes too big just built for comfort with <laughs> um he's uh dark shaggy black hair um just perpetual tired look like Aizawa <laughs> from My Hero. <laughs> Just looks exhausted. Uh, um, and yeah, he probably has a... Pro he's probably got Toonami going in the background, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Excellent. Um, you sit... Oh, go ahead. No, 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 no sorry. Us. You sit there eating your first cup of noodles and then probably your second and then maybe your third if you're feeling extra spicy and put in like a little bit of sriracha um breathing fire at that point <laughs> yeah <laughs> have a lime ready so you can go <laughs> <just> <laughs> to cleanse your palate if things go bad you know and it's it's a typical the typical friday night you know like nothing major going on I don't know if you think that uh, Logan would be doing the dating thing right now, but if he is, cool, but probably not tonight. Probably not tonight. It's it's a, it, it's a long day. I'm like, I'm just, I'm done. I just want to be done. Well, Even he's... from here, as you're sitting there eating your ramen, around the time, like I mentioned, 8.15, 8.30, all of the lights in your apartment, including your television. They flicker for a moment. What you know, for the normal folk, is to be expected. That's not a big thing. You live in an industrial town that has a lot of welders, um, um, people that work in the Navy, and 
literally any kind of person can live here. Bad power is expected, especially in a rainstorm like this. But you also feel a slight chill in the back of your back of your neck. One that feels old. What would you like to do? Uh, probably use one of my move ability things. Oh, okay. Uh, the, the sight. All right. Could you um, read that for the people that are unsure of what that is slash means? Yes. Uh, the site says you can see the invisible, especially spirits and magical influences. Uh, you can communicate with, maybe even make deals with, these spirits that you see, and they give you more opportunities to spot clues when you investigate a mystery. Uh, at the moment, I'm just trying to see if I spot them at all. So, how I imagine it, um, I don't know if you guys remember Ice Age, the first one when Diego goes basically into night vision mode, his eyes turn a vibrant green. Not quite for you, Logan. As your eyes open up, they are, to anyone that would be around you, are a shimmering pool of gold with hints of purple and a little bit of blood red. Around you, there are creatures that are just lurking. None seem to be paying attention to too much, and none are of a considerable size that might be like, oh, you caused that. Um, as you, one of them looks at you, and they look at you, you guys make eye contact. It's what we would know in the Dungeons and Dragons 5e as a quasit or an imp. Just a small little creature that's just causing havoc. You notice that some of them are stealing your pub mix. Um, but um, he looks at you. Wait, wait, question, with this being yes. in my apartment um, that, mm. I, that he's in, would, mm. would this be like, are there any creatures here that are like regulars so that he like he's familiar with them kind of a thing or? This one particular, it's similar to having like that rat in your house that you basically just befriended because no matter how much poison you put out for it, it somehow survives. <laughs> um, and it takes up, it pops over the thing, it takes a pretzel out, it holds it like a cigarette itself, and just begins to crunch looking at you. Hey, Logan. Uh, probably just stares like way too long just like looking through him with that dissociative dead expression just yeah okay <laughs> uh, i'm is gonna try and see if he spots what caused the lights to flicker roll investigate a mystery Ooh. so just the 2d6s just the 2d6 plus your stat that that involves oh goodness okay i know a pop quiz uh, you're good ah uh, so, I gotta look it, through the... It's plus sharp. Oh, it's plus sharp? Okay. Yes. So then, total 11. 11. All right. You get to ask two questions. One, what is happening here? I'm going to say the ones that apply to you at this moment. What is happening here? Um, what's it going to do? Or what can do it? Because at this moment, it is hard to tell what kind of creature this would be just by, you know, the lights flicker. There are, yeah. there are supernatural things that happen all the time. It's Washington. Yeah. It's it's spoopy land. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you've probably let's... seen the legitimate Bigfoot. <laughs> right. Oh, my goodness. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, turn back to the little closet and, I guess, ask him it. The... It's, it's a him for sure. <laughs> Okay, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll ask him um, what caused it. That, that thing, is, that, that little thing. I haven't got the foggiest, man. There are things that happen here all the time, whether it be the hounds that take care of, you know, the, a rat person that lives down in the sewers, whether it be, you know, a phantom or a ghost around here. So many people die in those warehouses of the welders. You know how many drowned there are around here? Like, it could be anything. Was well, old though, and he takes your take container of the pub mix, takes out all the pretzels and the curly cheese with whirls, and just walks back. He op he unhinges his mouth and just and fills himself like a balloon and just goes back into his little crack in your wall. Always a pleasure. Uh, <laughs> just yeah. start looking around. 
as you're looking around, who would you like to be the next person to express what their character is doing, slash what's going on? You will not find any information about the monster tonight. Okay. I'm trying to think. I guess just what else is in the room, just trying to figure out who else is there. Nothing. Nothing out of the ordinary or that would make concern. Maybe there's a couple of, like, small glitters of light that would be considered a fairy or a small fae that are going around okay. cleaning for you slightly or deliberately putting dust particles to make you sneeze. I don't know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they're fae. They're awful creatures. They don't care. <laughs> just grab a broom and just kind of, like, bat at them. <laughs> like, out, out. <laughs> they go through your window, not breaking the glass, just yeah. into the night sky. I can't... Mm, I get one more question? You can use it now, or I'm going to say you can hold it for later in case you I think get I'll hold it, because I can't really think of what, what else okay. to ask at the moment. Now, would you be willing to hot potato it to one of your fellow players? Let's give it to the birthday boy. Let's <laughs> hot potato over to Tippy. Tippy. Thank you so much. <laughs> I am so ready for this. <laughs> You're so ready for this. Mm. You, my good sir, why don't you give us a description of your character while before I set the mm. scene so that way people get an idea of what they might be getting into. The name is Falstaff. It's the name they gave me when I joined task, uh, task Force Enron. My job is simply to do a little bit of cleanup work. And uh, I uh, have uh, a, 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 a blazer that he swears fits him, but might be just a little too small for him. And a, uh, like a set of designer shades uh that was requisitioned by th his th it's requ requisitioned by his higher ups everyone gets a pair but he got like the the nicest ones because of his connection to his higher up uh he has like a slim cut and he has like hanging off of him in various harnesses and holsters uh various weapons of self defense uh and right now, he <laughs> he is uh, just checking his watch for like just to see what time it is in the middle of whatever he was doing. You are on paperwork duty at your little situation right now. They, I joke you not, this place it is run by the government. You guys have a little homemade flip chart, a little flip thing to decide who, which job people get what, because you were stationed in this little place, and it's, luckily it, you didn't get dish duty tw two weeks in a row. Oh, thank so, God. But no, you have to do paperwork dealing with renegades, also known as what regular people would call hunters. Um, and there is a place, you're not in Seattle at the moment, actually. You mm. are in Idaho. In a rinketing town next to a school for a religion you do not believe in, nor do you care, but it's a quiet place and people here are nice enough. You occasionally get free fries with your burger when you order from McDonald's. Like, it's cool. Like, um, and as you are working on this paperwork, you do have a computer if you'd like to use it, or you can handwrite it. Considering how long the computers take, it's probably better just to handwrite it. Yeah. Um, he taps away at his keyboard uh, and he hits enter, but it takes like a good 10, 15 beep, seconds to beep. input a line of data. Yep. He's just like, Ugh. There is a TV probably re rerunning um, um, either Autobots or the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, going on um, because your one coworker that somehow does all the work but doesn't really ever seem to do their work. Um, Kozik, um, is sitting there and he is a tiefling. Um, a, a feral tiefling as we would know him, and he has the ability just to teleport slightly, and it's frustrating because he gives up major nightcrawler energy, but he's a 
be sarcastic. <laughs> um. So, I'm just like, uh, I see that it's getting late, and I've mm-hmm. just like take another bite of my of my Mc, <laughs> McDLT. <laughs> and, <laughs> Not Nick Rip. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> he has to keep the hot, hot side and the cool, cool mm. side. <laughs> mm-hmm. Of course, of course. And he's just like looks over and he's like, "Isn't there anything more interesting on than than TMNT? I mean, come on, what? If, like, isn't there some kind of game? Wait, what day is it today? Today is fr- it, it's Friday, man. And if you really want to watch it. It's called, it, I don't, I'm sitting here enjoying this because, you know, I had a friend actually at New York that actually met Sewer L- Lord Living Tor- Turtles. Apparently the guy was actually, who made this cartoon, was uh, one of us. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, apparently, I don't know, man. It's also like the Gargoyles show, same thing. See, Gargoyles, I would have suspected a little bit better, but hmm. yeah. TMNT just seemed seem too kitty for it to be made by you know not all of us are by the book and always wear a tie even when it's you know 9 p.m look you gotta if you want the big bucks and the nice toys you gotta play the part for the for, for the big guy okay is is that why you're stationed here <laughs> look that's not important right now i'm just saying that you on a radar similar to basically a sonar that you can see oh, yeah. like in a submarine. Oh, finally got something. You look over Wait. and at the edge of your station area in Washington, there is a blip. You've had blips before. You've been at this job for a long time. And sometimes like the occasional ghost or creature that does some supernatural activity gives off a small little red ping similar to like a laser pointer size light. What, ha- what you see is about the size of a penny on this small screen in that area. Whoa! Lighting up like a Christmas tree. This is, uh... This is a little abnormal. Hmm. Where is it at, man? Seems to be just outside of... Just a little outside of Seattle. He hops up, and that's when you see that he is in just his undies, uh, tank top and undies, just his heart boxers. Oh, God, man, come on. <laughs> what? A I little can't... bit more decent, please. <laughs> Our, the barracks are right there. He points to the barracks room, which is the next door over. Mm. Whatever, just give me, come here. I need your, I need your brain. And I just like, <laughs> And looking at this and just like uh, taking readings mm-hmm. and just like, it, like this is a larger than average blip just south of Seattle of activity of like just of just like a strong supernatural activity. Strong supernatural activity. Like mm-hmm. um, he's going to walk over and be like, well, it ain't, it ain't Bigfoot. He's actually on vacation now in Florida, so... I make note of the time. 8.15. No, uh, no. He, he, yeah, he got, he got his vacation days. Uh, you want to head over there? Like, I mean... I mean, it's Seattle. Do you think this is anything aquatic? He's going to point it out. No, it's too far inland, and he's going to mention that. From where you guys are, it is near the near the water, but it's it's a couple miles inland. Typical water creatures won't go that far if there's some sort of monster, or, like, they'll typically go on the harbor because there's harbor. Uh, well, I mean, it is Seattle. Do you just want to go? I just... No, man, I can't go to the Cracked Den anymore. <laughs> the Cracked Den, for those of you that are unaware, um, is the place where the hunters... It's a place where the members of your organization, also known as the Hounds, but your division is known as Enron, <laughs> um, um, will go to to gather information, get assistance from the Commonwealth there, because you guys are going to butt heads anyway. Might as well exchange information before you guys get in each other's way. 
right. there have been instances where people from your group have shot people from their group. Things it's it's just a it's just messy. Yeah. I, I can't go back there. The uh the barkeep well, there will have my head. We can't make this another we can't make this another rolling blackout situation. I, I, someone's got to go. And I guess if you're not going, then it's got to be me. So he like stands up and j- below below his blazer and nice pressed shirt is just like a, a pair of sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> really? That that seems all rather bizarre. <laughs> Who would do that? <laughs> from the top, from, from the top, from the, from the, like the waist up, he's like perfect. He's mm-hmm. got the he's got the heads all in a whirl. The bottom down doesn't matter so much. <laughs> nice. Uh, take it matches though. the color of his shirt. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, go ahead and take the van. I'll uh, I'll write down the four for you. All right. And he like uh, grabs the keys and goes out to his inconspicuous uh, his. Inconspicuous black Dodge Freightliner van, <laughs> uh, and just like starts it up and starts rolling it into the night towards Seattle. Something interesting because mm-hmm. of the organization you're with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as you open the car, your something appears basically what we would know as a GPS system. However, mm-hmm. this is made out of gold and gemstone, and you're able to speak like saying, Hey, Google, yeah, this thing and tell it where to go. Where would you tell this vehicle to go? Marv, take, (laughs) uh, set a course for the, set a course for Olympia port. We're gonna approach this thing from the south. The car doesn't respond, but as you turn the key into ignition, you continue onwards. Um, similar to back in the future, after you sir, uh, reach a certain speed limit, of course, because you're in a small town, though, it's only 55 instead of, you know. 90. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, can't, you can't do highway speeds in, in the little rinky-dink Idaho. <laughs> the car begins to gently shake, and it begins to accelerate until what you're used to now, which is why you wear sunglasses at night, not because you're, you know, you're just a terrible person. Oh. <laughs> um, Reading the, glasses, sir. The car... Pops. As you slowly begin to see the gaps between the reality that we see and between death. As you go a little bit, you see other vehicles around you in a similar place. What we would call in the Dungeons and Dragons, Dungeons and Dragons world, the Astral Sea, it's now become a national highway. Oh, I love it. You see several different vehicles from all over the world, some going into other planes of existence. Some just coming from point A to point B. Some people getting chased because parts of it is a highway now, but it's still a sea. You continue onwards until you stop at the place where you requested. Mm-hmm. And as when you got into the van, I should specify, it was 8.20. When you step onto the pier, it's 8.21. Ooh, love it. That's cool. I'm digging that. I like that a lot. Your best contacts would probably finding a local hunter nearby or the local person at the outpost. And the typical place to do that is either A, a post office, or the local pub, which is the Crack Den, but that's in Seattle. And mm-hmm. they're, they're heroes of the people. <laughs> they're doing this not for money or you know to make the world a better place. They're doing it for kicks and giggles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not the, it's, it's, they're not nice. They're just kind. <laughs> the, the, some of them are friendly. And the owner yeah. of the cracked den, um, she's sweet enough, but she's refused to work under you, under your corporation for many, many decades. Yeah. All right. Time to just, it's just a totally normal reconnaissance mission. It's totally fine. It's, brushes himself off Mm -hmm. and just like readjusts sunglasses and just enters in. Okay. As you enter, Mm -hmm. Becky, 
tell us what Becky looks like, if you'd be so kind. As Falstaff enters, we're at the post office, right? Are you at the post office, or are you going to the pub? Yeah, where are you going, Falstaff? It is kind of late for the for the post office. It's 8.20 at night. <laughs> mail never stops. Get the mail. <laughs> we're going to get all those As someone mail. that used to work in the mail system, you are right. That is true, yeah. <laughs> Falstaff has just, uh, as he enters, like, as he enters into downtown, oh gosh, okay, let me think about this a little bit more. It is Friday night in Seattle. It is busy and it is pouring yeah. rain. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, Falstaff has, like, his, um, <laughs> has his GI umbrella, <laughs> and one of the sp one of the wing spars is broken, so it's just, like, trickling down one side. <laughs> And it's just, mm -hmm. and it's just like, he's walking like before he. It's sorry, spaced out a little bit. Thought I was entering into a building, not into a town. Uh, he oh, yeah, is fine. just going down the sidewalk, of he, going down one of the main central sidewalks, past mm -hmm. the uh, past the record keeping and the uh, like the primary government offices, mm -hmm. uh, headed towards the den just on foot he has okay. parked he has parked the van and put and put a trick coin in the meter to keep it running uh just mm -hmm. like you know just yeah. just something in the meter that he'll pull out when he's done and then like, like you, uh what is you it know like the a, trick. Yeah, you can like put the coin in yeah. you can put the coin in click the button and get your coin back yeah it, pretty <laughs> much yeah yeah as you're putting that trick coin in the meter you probably notice uh, a little like flash of navy blue and it almost doesn't catch your eye because it's real close to the ground um but i assume you've been trained to watch out for people like this so you look a little bit closer and you see a navy blue baseball cap and the tips of two gnomish ears um and i assume are you continuing to focus on this person maybe follow him a little sneakily he uh as soon as he like catches even a little bit of sight of this person, he's just like, it's, it's a little late, isn't it? This person's moving. They're now 20, 25 feet away. Hey, hey, <laughs> wait, wait a minute. And I just like, <laughs> they look at your sweatpants first. <laughs> <laughs> he looks oh. down. Oh, uh, and like, then their eyes you... continue to trail up your body and they get to the suit and they're like <laughs> and you see this uh the young adult gnome she's got uh curly blonde hair that sticks out from like the front and the back of her navy blue baseball cap she's got mm. a pale blue polo on um like navy blue cargo pants and some very sensible sneakers that at this point in the year are covered in mud uh and she's carrying especially for her small stature, uh, a heavy looking mail bag um, filled with, you assume not mail, because it's a Friday night, her route should be done by now, but it's yeah. heavy with something. And she looks at you with, with wide eyes, like, and then takes off running. No. Oh. In the direction that you'd know the crack den is. Okay, I guess we're doing this then. And he'll just like, uh, <clears throat> No, I just remembered what time period this is. This would not be. I almost said he. I almost said he like. Uh, he just like pops the wheels out of his heels and just like starts starts pursuit. <laughs> That's two thousand and five. Not. No, it's a little too late. For no, I mean you are the government. You might have heels before everyone else. We don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's like what are the ones? This is the nineties, right? You had like okay, two yeah, back wheels. Uh, oh, oh! Before the Heelys, there was the uh, shoe that had the two wheels inside the boot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just click it, and it come out, and it'd be like and it, yeah, blades. and it popped out. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's it's a pair of those. Yes. I knew I knew that Heelys were a little not, more contemporary than these. I'm sure if yes. you're like a secret government and thing, you probably had like the boop. test demos yeah. of it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like lizard, the the government, the government lizard people. I mean, normal. <laughs> Every day, uh, whistle, 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 whistle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have all of the technology like ten years after when the time period is. So it's one hundred percent. Yeah, he definitely has like the he like just toots, heels together and just like two sets of wheels. 
uh, appear like out of the sides, of, like down from the heel of the shoe, and he just is like, ru- just like blading, just blade blading. Yeah, bay I, blading. Yeah, bay <laughs> blading. <laughs> down just the street no, after this person. There's no just spinning to like a top down the road. I just asked you a simple question, Point ma'am. Of order of ma'am. Ball staff. She is behaving like she is aware she is a no. So that does give you the indication that she's aware. Um, mm. Which, probably, she's probably not the cause of it because typically a person that makes a blip the size of a penny on your like yeah. nine by nine monitor isn't yeah. gonna run. They're gonna start killing everybody in the streets. Yeah, yeah. I j- so I'm just like, <sighs> I've, look, it, you don't, it, uh, you don't have to just I'm with and I would you know I say like I say the name I say the name Enron and I see if the uh, I see if that stops <laughs> I see if uh, that stops this person at all I don't think Enron would register but this does get her to like look back at you for a second um, Keeper, is Falstaff wearing, like, uh, a, a ring? With a I would say it? yes. Um, the, the way that you identify with most members of authority is that you have a um, platinum ring on your ring finger, whatever finger you'd like, or on a necklace mm-hmm. that is onyx or obsidian with a um, beautiful ruby hound in it, or vice versa. It depends if you are part of the paperwork d- division or the military division. You're military, so it's obsidian with a red hat. So uh, as you say that, she turns around, looks at you again with a more scrutiny, scrutinizing gaze. <laughs> but as her eyes fall on that ring, she bolts again, just starts running. <sighs> okay. Where you parked the crack den isn't terribly far. It's maybe at most a, a city block. Yep. Um, but she's booking it. You're trying to look casual because you're now chasing this woman in sweatpants and a suit top. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so he, so the little, like in the middle of the like hullabaloo of like the heel click, he mm-hmm. was trying and apparently failed earlier to tap th- his belt for a quick change. Mm hmm. Uh, and like he just like rustles the rustles the mechanism again and mm-hmm. just like poops and if it works this time it does it was one for uh, comedic effect why it yeah, didn't work the first the sweatpants time. are immediately covered by like a really thin lycra or not lycra what's the material a really thin cotton top layer of mm-hmm. uh, of suit pants that match the jacket yes <laughs> and he like it's nice to have the, it's it's nice to have when you are lazing about doing paperwork in sweatpants. Yeah, but yeah, for it, sure. It's a little temperamental. Uh, <laughs> so um, yeah, he, I will say she's able to zoom into the crack den, and it is a bar that you have to go down into. So you're gonna have to turn off your um your blades, unfortunately. Yeah, um, I just like skid to a stop, and they retract back up into the heel, and it's just <laughs> like. We were headed to the same place. Why Why didn't she just say that? And I just like... The crack den. Mm. It is a place that you have to go into, but it, it, before you even enter the place, it smells of rotting wood, vomit, with, mm. a, with, with, with a pinch of incense that would ward off supernatural ghosts and other things of that nature. Um, and there is a neon sign flashing above it, and it has a... Um, Crack den. It has a barrel falling on top of a person, and then basically the barrel cracking on top of them, mm-hmm. and it repeats that. Um, yeah, full barrel, barrel landing on stick figure cracking. Yeah, yes. and just back and forth. And mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is this person already inside? When I'm yes, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just like, yeah, I'm just going in at that point. I'm just like, you know, <clears throat> just. I'm not. I'm not causing any trouble. I do paperwork. What could they be afraid of? <laughs> Luck, Braxton. I need you to roll me, just a straight check with your two d sixes, if you'd be so kind. You just talk to me. 
I did. Did you roll me <laughs> a sh- uh, Go ahead and roll me a straight check to see how lucky you're feeling today. doing real life stuff um fall staff as you i guess uh get close to the crack den even if you don't go inside you hear that the gnome as soon as she gets past the threshold of the door it's just like on edge like calling for someone oh i like stop right outside of the door and just like th- like there's little there's the little checker marked like like reinforced glass windows on the sides of the door that mm-hmm. are like really <laughs> fogged over and he just yeah. like wipes and looks you and you are familiar with um with the people here you've read the reports Hanage is the owner slash caretaker of this place they have been since this place opened up mm-hmm. in 1850 um yeah <laughs> <laughs> elves there, why has it got to be elves well for, for <laughs> players they're actually the equivalent of the divine in the this divine. game. Of course, of course. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, as you step in, I here's the question. Are you hiding behind Hanage or are you just like <laughs> I'm definitely gonna try to like jump over the bar um <laughs> and like hide behind there, maybe like next to the ice well. So just watching back. through the glass as this gnome hops <laughs> over the bar and like it takes you a know, little bit of effort to climb up the yeah. bar stool and oh. then like launch myself <laughs> yeah. the even better because this probably happens more times than you you will probably want to admit becky you know those cat steps you or like dog steps you get for small dogs trying to get on there dog a steps. Tiny staircase for me. <laughs> there's a tiny staircase it's you like, just jump right over <laughs> You're just asking questions. You're just asking questions. You're just asking questions. Just, uh, and he'll go to the door and just like, <laughs> you're open totally it up. fine. Um, as you're opening there it up, go. you're totally fine. Mm-hmm. Luck, go ahead and roll me just a straight 2d6 roll to see how lucky you're feeling today. You're not allowed to use luck on this roll. Uh, <laughs> I got a six. Oh Perfect. no. Right down you, the middle. <laughs> right down the middle, which unfortunately is a failure, but that's good. To save time, you are also in the cracked den at this moment, okay. um, cra- um, cradling a hup, uh, cup of soup that they made for you. It's basically just broth, and they gave you some crackers. Yeah. Um, it was a bad week, is all I'm going to say. You can okay. describe what kind of week that might mean as you describe your character. Um, so my character is kind of... He's... 25 years old uh slightly like he hasn't shaved for a couple days so he's got a slight stubble his hair is a little uh, he's in need of a haircut um definitely by a professional barber but it's been probably a month too long um he where he seems to be standing at a lengthy or a lanky uh six four like one of those like real tall fellows and has a small little uh gut mostly from the amounts of liquid that he drinks on a daily basis um he has what is on his head a uh cap or uh, uh fedora one might say it is beaten um it is flat top though it doesn't have the indent anymore and with like what is like it's not it used to be striped but is that maybe faded a little bit um, along with like a faded pinstripe uh vest as well and what is i can only describe as like a green shirt underneath um and what it in khakis uh he has just basic running shoes on uh but he definitely doesn't show him like he not seems like he's very just kind of down in the dumps at the moment uh sits there cuddling a soup bowl of warmth in this rainy weather outside and is just like sniffing it and in his thoughts currently he's just like goodness i made at least 200 oh <laughs> um uh the barkeeper um Hanage, 
um, is actually just gave you your soup and offered you a blanket, just a, just a like a soft like um, not a comforter per se, but it's it'll keep you warm nonetheless. Uh, I am wet. I am currently da a damp fellow. Yes. I did not bring an umbrella. I do not own a hoodie in any Just way. Damp fellow, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> poor boy. I I have a vehicle though. It is parked in a, in a singular area because I cannot afford the gas currently to be able to move it. So everything that I do is within a walking distance. Thank goodness I live close to a, a subway <laughs> here in mm. town. Um, yeah, back when the five dollar foot long was actually a thing. Like, no, I'm talking like an actual like subway oh. system because that exists within <laughs> the Seattle area. <laughs> thank Sorry, God! I'm... Thank Sorry, God! I'm... I that live too. next to that too. I live the next subway. to a subway <laughs> subway sandwich restaurant. Like the transportation system. Thank you, my good man. <laughs> God, I'm hungry. I'm sorry. Oh, that was perfect. That was so perfect. Back oh, when it was the good well, times, not I'm the dark cool. times, is what. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Incredible. Gosh, dude, I'm gonna not be right. going very good um, today. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you. Um, um, but yeah, he's nursing this milk. He takes the blanket and uses it kind of just to keep himself warm as he just kind of shivers. The man has like almost no body fat, but is still like he's he's eaten enough, but mm -hmm. it's that eating of just like uh, like. The man could eat. The man could have a sandwich, and yeah. he'd be very happy. Maybe it's chips and a like big a tall sandwich. Yes, like a five dollar foot long. You know, <laughs> getting that sweetness. <laughs> uh, just check it. I thought I'd be on double check. And he just looks at the barmaid yeah. or uh, who? Who's the lady? Hanog. Han Her name's Hanog. Hanog. Han Hanog. 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 Yeah. And he, a, he looks up a, at her. Eastern German. Uh, he looks at her, and just says. Oh, you're so nice to me. Thank you. Uh, takes it. Feel it's probably like one of those old wool blankets where it's like oh, really yeah. rough. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. just like throws it over him, just like. Oh. I, keep, I keep I keep telling you, you can work here. There are jobs you can do. Like. I appreciate that, but I need to follow my dream. As you say that, Becky, bing, <laughs> opens the door. <laughs> wow. I look over, I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm halfway over the bar as you say that. Um, and as soon as I'm like behind and safe, I like poke my head up. So you just see like the bill of my um, baseball cap and my pointy gnome ears. Mm -hmm. And then I look up at, at Hanag like, it, it's another one of the suit guys. Um, but like with sweatpants. So maybe like a half suit guy. Maybe he's half cool. Maybe. Thank you, Becky. Um, and Hanag will look over to you. Um, by the way, um, what is Lux Dungeons and Dragons race to give people context? Or is he um, just a human? He's really, really, like, okay, so I want to say that he's very diluted. Um, he's very, very diluted. Uh, what is it? Uh, Goliath. Okay. Which gives okay. him the height, but he does not have much of the strength. Okay. So Understood. he's very tall, like, very diluted. Uh, Goliath. So and yeah, Falstaff. Um, Falstaff is like seventy-five percent human, twenty-five percent bugbear. Okay, because he is Harry like man. Yeah, he's very. He's got like he's got like a full like Abe Lincoln going on, mm -hmm. but he recently had it like. He's recently been trying to like shape it and it hasn't really been going well. Hence the unshaven, uh, the unshaven mm. face. He's got Keep that, it uh, longer so you can trim it and make it look prettier. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, he's, he's and, got... and he wears sunglasses all the time because his eyes are like, his the whites of his eyes are not white, they're yellow and his pupils are just like pure, like his pupils take up more of his eyes than his irises do. Uh, uh, it's a little bit, it's a little bit obvious, which is why he wears the shades all the time. Mm -hmm. And he's just like, he just enters in very like calmly and just like shuts the umbrella, shakes it, tries to fix it, wraps it up, keeps it under, puts it under the arm and is just like walking in. <sighs> 
It's a suit man that can change his pants really fast. I think that makes him like double dangerous. Evening. Thank you, Becky. Um, Hanog, for um, those that are curious to see what they look like, they are actually, um, actually, I, I have a curious, um, Becky, would you like to describe them? Because I think <laughs> I've imprinted her an image into your brain. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hanog is a woman with, like, blue lapis lazuli skin, like, sapphire veins across it that, like, pulse with, not astral, but just, like, crystalline energy. Uh, she has hair like stars. Um, for those of you familiar with Dungeons and Dragons, she is an Earth Genasi. Um, I don't have anything about her like height or build. I mostly remembered, um, <laughs> I, I, and it, that makes sense. Becky would yeah. mostly know her like just yeah. cool skin and hair because everybody above her height is just up. Height doesn't yeah. really matter to a gnome. She <laughs> has the body of a biker mom, is the best way to describe mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Biker mom. I love it. Um, she has the kind of smile that tells you that she's more than willing to give kids cigarettes, but at the same <laughs> time, she's going to pull someone's ear off if she finds out that they took someone's cigarettes. Right. <laughs> um, she looks at you, uh, Falstaff, and kind mm -hmm. of puts a hand to the side like this to, like, Becky, like, thank you. Uh, good, good evening. What can I do for you? Can Thanks I get you something to drink, or is this uh, more business? Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll take a. Uh, I'll take a. I'll take a. Uh, oh God, I'm trying to think of Falstaff's drink preference. <laughs> <laughs> Falstaff would probably go for just like one of the oil cans of Fosters. You got it, um, and. They retrieve one of those behind the bar, standing next mm -hmm. to Becky. They kind of pat Becky on the top of the head, um, letting her know it's okay. Um, I hope this is not another attempt, as she gets it to you and hands it to you, mm -hmm. of you guys trying to hire on or try to make this place an official um, hound agency. This answer is still no. <laughs> mm. Half the can is gone. And he looks back and he's just like, no. No, no, no none, nothing of the sort. Little bit of a, uh, mm, oh, that's better. Little bit of a flighty one, that is. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. And I'd like to look down to uh, this gnome peeking up. Whoa. <laughs> The lightning crash right behind. <laughs> That's perfect. Oh my um, god, I love it. You can it. see it's the wheels outside. spinning as she like is trying to come up with a fake name, but then she just kind of displayed <laughs> slightly. I'm I'm Becky Babblestitch, mail carrier, and also one of the researchers and experts here. Of course, it's Becky. The name is Falstaff, and he like extends his hand out, uh, and you see. Hand, slightly longer, slender fingers than a normal human, and a little bit, like, more hair on the backs of his palms. Backs of his palms? Backs of his hands. <laughs> <laughs> um, she hesitates again, looking back at your suit, seeing the ring on, on the hand that's outstretched, but still shakes. He won't bite. <laughs> <laughs> Just, like... Little shake, and it's like, okay. And it takes back, places the umbrella against the bar, mm -hmm. and will just, like, I'm just... Hanag, I got a blip. <clears throat> yeah, we got it, too, about 15 minutes ago. Mm-hmm. Pretty nasty. Just wanted to convene, take notes... Whatever you have, we, whatever you have, we need, and whatever we have, we'll give you. Sure. Where, where was the blip? For the both of you that were in this bar slash in the area, mm -hmm. um, look, I don't know how long you've been sitting in the cracked den, um, mm -hmm. um, but as you were getting here, or as you've been sitting here, there was about a solid 30 seconds where all the lights were flickering nonstop, which is pretty bad, especially mm -hmm. in Seattle, downtown. Um, 
Becky, you would have seen it as well as you were just walking around. You've seen everything just kind of like people were confused. Um, but then, like, there's like everything's okay. Just power grid. It's stormy. Probably just a tree fell on some of the wires or whatever. But you know better. He, d- d- Falstaff, kind of like at that point, like waves his hand over his coat pocket and the insignia becomes unhidden of just, and if you have any context for this whatsoever, you'll know just the diagonal E with the name Mm -hmm. Enron underneath it. And he'll just be like, it was any, as he was walking along before bumping into Becky and like whoever he interacts with, he just gives them the spiel. It's, it's a (laughs) roller. It's a rolling blackout. We're looking into it. And he's um, just like, <laughs> and he's just, and Ron is here to fix the problem. Okay. Sure, sure, so sure. Luck would yeah. like to come Ooh. up behind you in his like stupor or mm. whatever, like with his soup in his hands and mm. his blanket over top of him. He just looks at you. He's just like, sips the no, soup a little bit. <laughs> Becky he told, turns. Becky told me that you can change your pants really quick. Can you teach me how to well, do you, that? Because all I can do currently is this, and I rip off my pants suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just in my underwear. So I really oh. need to learn how to do the switch quick for, you know, my act. Oh, oh um, dear. It's, God. Um, I mean, who he, might you be? Um, Lucky. Hi. Hi, I'm I'm Luck. Nice to meet you. And he, like, cups, uh, like, if you give out his ha- a hand, oh. he puts the suit <laughs> he, down like, really quick. He's raising it. his hand and then just, like, oh. He cups it with both. Of your hands, like hi, I'm Luck, uh, Luck Baxton. Um, nice to meet you. He'll take his hand back and just um, like you can also call me uh, Lucky Strikes, the magician extraordinaire. Uh, if you ever have a party that needs it, and I pull out like a card that has my number written on it, <laughs> and when, uh, please let me know. <laughs> Sir, this is a Wendy's. I... <laughs> 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 he puts it. Puts the puts the card into the front suit pocket. <laughs> My pleasure. Whatever. Uh, Lucky there are pants in the back if you need to get new ones. Like, no, these ones are actually tearaway. It's just gonna take me twenty minutes to like snap <laughs> everything back together. <laughs> Snaps everything down. back in a pulse. Snap hands. Oh my. Steph, false Steph like reaches into the front pocket of the blazer and just pulls out this little, like, this little square that is attached to his belt. Uh, and he like gives it a little shake, makes sure, makes sure that it has like its power. And he just mm-hmm. like tosses it over to luck. You catch it. He like uh, jiggles, it lo- he like jumbles and like, catches it. He's like, got oh, it. careful. And you look down, you see a uh, what appear. It's about the size of a cigarette box, mm-hmm. and it just has the same Enron logo on it. Uh, it. It looks like it has a seam in it where it would be, uh, where it would be like a Zippo. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you're just, and he's just like just, just put that put that to your waist and tap the button. He like just puts it on his underwear, like wrist, like, yeah. slap fit. And yeah, just, like, yeah. Boop. And <laughs> a pair of pants materializes on your body in whatever color you like. Oh, are they like real pants or is it just like a? Like... It's like what I said earlier. It's the. Uh, it's just. It's just a pair of quick change. It's just like a pair oh. of pop up pants. Uh, yeah. Mine oh. happen to be black to match the suit, but it can be whatever color. He you want. gets oh, himself okay. a fresh pair of khakis. Like yes. ones that don't have holes in them anymore. <laughs> That's perfect. Like, oh, and I this, just, is, this is great. Um, don't give that to anybody. I wasn't planning on it. Uh, this is, this is, thank you. I can do this now. I'm going to continue yeah. putting on my like other pants to have them underneath. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's the whole point. As soon as you put on your, way, as soon as your I, other I was pants wearing are wearing khakis on. beforehand, yeah. Yeah. so I have as fairway as khakis other, with normal khakis <laughs> underneath. As soon as your other pants are on, the pop-up pants, uh, like fade back away into the device that got handed to you. Now I'm that a... brings up a good point, Lot. She'll look to you, full staff. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got a tip from uh, one of our local um cops mm-hmm. out there. Uh, apparently a kid's been missing. It's the, it's the second one in the past two months. 
Um, oh. It was a little farther south than the first one. Uh, why, why does it keep going after the kids? Okay. Um, it well, excuse me. Oh, uh, but yeah, look, um, you owe him, so you're going to go with him. Exactly. I don't remember making. I was going to get to that I part, but thank you. Did I? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, he did just give you magical pass. I think yes. Uh, <laughs> look, and he, he realizes like, that. He's like, I didn't just make a deal with it. This is totally up devil, to right. This is totally up to Keeper's discretion. <laughs> I like. I start reaching for like. I start reaching for like a really thick pen in my pocket, and I'm just like, look. I'm just here to ask questions to anybody who may know anything. And if you have answers for me, then I don't have to pretend. I don't have to make you pretend I never existed. Uh, those pants have... are a favor and a blessing from me to you that you that we will hopefully get along. So if there isn't any more dilly dallying to be done. I am Falstaff. And I work with Enron and I, and I like look over to Becky, same to you. Uh, that Becky, it's time for your first field book and you get to do it with a member of the Hound, but not Hound from Enron. Aren't you excited? And she gently taps you. She <laughs> opens up, as she's saying that she opened up the flap for the bar and is tapping you out behind the bar and she closes it. <laughs> yeah. Um... <laughs> oh no. For a second, she tries to like, whisper, like, with him? Uh, but then as she's being, like, pushed out from the bar, she's just like, uh, uh, uh. Whoa, hey, Hi. hey, this is a little, like, son, are you, what, you're just gonna volunteer everyone? What about that new guy upstairs? You're the new guy from upstairs. <laughs> no, I, I'm talking about the other, I'm talking about our fourth player. Good man. Fourth player hey. is not here currently, okay, but cool. they'll be able they will it will get to that i'm okay i'm getting there i have a plan currently across the puget sound yeah <laughs> pretty much um and i just oh, like oh, then i'm missing forward my bad we're not, <laughs> we're not fine. luckily for the first part of this we don't have to go anywhere and i just like gesture over to one of the booths of course there are right. definitely booths in this place yes and that's I, where luck was sitting mm -hmm. okay i go i look over to luck's soup and i'm like here, you can keep eating your Eat. chicken noodle soup. <laughs> and I just start like sipping it. I'm like, it, it's Campbell's, but it's like from the old, old cans, so it's ninety five percent sodium. Which yeah, is fantastic. <laughs> That's where you get like, a small gut old from can. Is the sodium yeah. that he has yeah. in his diet because he can't have anything fresh. <laughs> um, I... I'm actually going to make a phone call. I'll be right back. Um, okay. and. Um, as you do begin to discuss just um, Falstaff probably getting information about you guys, you don't have to give him your life story, but just how competent are you? What are your skill sets? That okay. stuff. Um, because you, you, you've you read reports about um, Hanag. She's tough, but she's compliant because she technically is a celestial being living on the material plane, mm -hmm. which typically makes her slash them a threat. Um <laughs> But they're cordial enough, and they're willing to, you know, behave, and they're helping instead of ca causing issues. Right. So, if they're making a phone call, there's probably a good reason. Yeah. <laughs> you do see one of the other regulars of this place, who you also know, is a about nine and a half foot tall um, permanent lycanthrope, just sitting there, um, cleaning firearms on a pool table. Probably be intimidating, and it's up to you to see if it's working or not. <laughs> Their name is Thomas. Thomas. Hmm. He has just Pleasure. like a nameplate on his side yeah. that has like Thomas he, on it. Thomas. <laughs> it Thomas. Yeah. I thought he said Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's Thomas, Thomas and Hanag. Hanag and Thomas. <laughs> Thomas. Thomas. That sounds like some like dish you'd get from like a Greek place in Germany. <laughs> oh my god. The Hanag Hamas. <laughs> oh perfect. Um and I he'll just unbutton the blazer and sit and just 
gesture for both of you to sit across from him. Um, yeah, as... I will take my wet, damp spot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just... I will move some of the glasses of, of milk that Luck's been drinking that are like all half empty for some reason. I'll move yeah. them out of the way. I start um, crying in the other one. And so I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why does it look so creamy? Like so much milk. <laughs> I couldn't oh take so much sodium from my tears. <laughs> I'm just. Um. <laughs> all right. Becky seems a little bit perturbed, but just just keeps moving up. She starts taking these uh, textbooks out of her mailbag, and you realize that's what was weighing it down so much. Um, all right, if, if you could tell me more about the signature you saw. I, I think I have... Uh, there's a chapter in this book somewhere on, on how to narrow down monsters based on the, the intensity and the like frequency of the, the signature you see. Looking at her books, some of them are definitely not supposed to be done by unregistered hunters or people that like, those books are not supposed to leave confirmed areas. The fact that this place, the Crack Den, has these books, you're like, it's it's fine. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's, it, it, you know... As you guys are having those conversations... I guess Logan, cool. It's fine. Yeah, it's Just, fine. Mm, Logan, you do get not a bitter, ring not on your phone <laughs> um, as you're sitting there watching the half end of a game. Or whatever you're watching. Friday night, probably college football. <laughs> oh, like I said, it's Toonami. I'm probably watching Toonami. Yeah, right no, yeah, they said Toonami earlier. <laughs> That's right, my bad, my bad. <laughs> so, uh, you, so, your phone phone is ending. There yeah. we go, yeah. <laughs> and so, clip and like, come on, come on. <laughs> Finishing an episode of Bleach, I'm like, that. Bleach! <laughs> <laughs> And that like, was Bleach. Oh. Next up is Inuyasha. See you in the <laughs> stars, cowboy. Or, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Next on Toonami. <laughs> Afterwards, prepare for a new episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> oh, an episode of Dragon Ball Z. Dude, <laughs> what is that guy's name? And next up is Big O. Oh, no, what is it? The, the, the guy, the voice actor. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I love him. He's great. Um, but you see her phone call as you're about to get your next time on Bleach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get up. Go, um, yeah, go answer the phone. So, yeah. Hello? Um, Hey, Logan. It's Hot Nug. Oh, hey. Hey, you know that favor you owe me? Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Is this is this about spooky stuff, or do you want free movie tickets? <laughs> as tempting as it would be to get some movie tickets, it's about spooky stuff. Oh, okay, cool. Of course it is. What Wait, it now? It's like the middle of the night! I'm not inviting you for tea and cakes yeah, or okay. beer and pretzels. Is there a ferry that's running right now? I don't... Yes, yes, there definitely is. Okay, cool, yeah. It'll be about an hour. Uh, all right. Yeah, yeah, I'll pay, I'll pay for your fare. I'll put shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boo-hoo. <laughs> she hangs up the phone. <laughs> So, yeah, definitely laughs, because that was all very much just, you know, yeah. joke, exaggerated, like, uh, uh Yeah, oh, 100%. Kind of oh, energy. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Um, all right, Mr. Falstaff, and she comes over with another um, another drink for you, and she brings Becky a crossword puzzle and probably a cookie. Um, I feel like that's fair. Oh, you're raising cookie, yeah. <laughs> and crossword for luck, and cookies. Crossword and cookies. Uh, another... Not this, not the hot milk specifically this time. It's actually tea, <laughs> and oh. maybe just maybe it's chamomile. But right now you don't care because you have <laughs> soup and and tea. That's it's very comforting. Mm -hmm. um, and she also brings out a little um, a little plate of what looks like homemade wings um, that she has recently hmm. just put on. And there's a couple of people that are coming in now. It is ten o'clock, and this is a dive bar, so mm -hmm. non-hunter folk will come in here on occasion. Um, and to anyone else, as you look over, in case you're concerned, you know, false staff about uh, Thomas cleaning guns. To anyone else, it looks like he's just cleaning pool, pool, pool cues. Pool cues? He looks like he's just cleaning oh, the pool it. cues. Yeah. That's great. Um, as, it, as he, like, uh, as the non, like, oh, wait, yeah, no, they can't see. 
his they can't see his his evil eyes no yeah <laughs> i forget yeah, that i okay new system for me yeah i've, so, I've been kind of i've been kind of winging it since i started <laughs> No, it's totally I fine. think that's I love it. for everyone here. Yeah. So, a little bit of world lore. I know it's an hour and a yeah. half in. It's a little late for this, but how <laughs> this world works, those that aren't aware of the magic that's around them have basically a Percy Jackson style mist oh, around yeah. them at all times. So they can't see it, mm -hmm. but even though it's there. Um, and yeah. those that can see can typically see anything unless you're specifically touched to see the astral sea or the lands between or whatever you want to call it. Um, so it's different for everybody, even those that can see, um, Becky might not be able to see the same things as Luck, and with Falstaff's glasses, he can probably see things that neither of them can see, and oh, yeah. who knows, Logan probably can see things that none of them can see, cool gadgets or not. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, I, uh, I, I believe Logan can see a lot. <laughs> He's like, uh, <laughs> he, he, he can see dead people everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> now one piece bros one piece actually didn't start getting dubbed until like 2010 so unfortunately really? no red swords like well oh my there's gosh. the there's the the false dubbing that we don't talk about because mm -hmm. it was so bad mm -hmm. Fair. but then there was the funimation dubbing that happened a little more recently yeah okay so remember when sanji had a popsicle or I, a lollipop I, I, <laughs> a lollipop yeah four kids Oh Woo! God. I love four kids. I love them running TMNT at like you know six a.m. Right, right, right. <laughs> Rolling so, it, reeling it back in. Nostalgia. <laughs> All right. So <clears throat> appreciate the enthusiasm for the for the details of the work, but for safety's sake, I just have to say that this is a lot larger than a. This blip was a lot larger than what we usually get. We went from a laser pointer to a penny. And it happened over the course of this, like, I don't know, the reading came in and, and left like 40 seconds later or so. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> that was about, looks down at his watch. It is now um, 9.13. About an hour ago. With everything that's going on, it's been about an hour. Yeah. <laughs> so, honestly, I'm doing, like, like, this is the preliminary stuff. So I just need from you and from you, and it looks over at Lux and Lu Lux, Luck, and it, Luck is just, like, <laughs> sipping on his, like, <laughs> sipping on his soup. He's got a little spoon that he just... <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> you yes anything that happened mm -hmm. in that time frame any uh, anything that happened in that time frame out of the ordinary mm -hmm. even out of the ordinary for what you two already are aware of i need to i i need to put it down for our notes um there were lights flickering yeah yeah there was mm -hmm. But that could have been a, a like smaller, more local effect. Did, Power did you drain. see where this where this blip was centered on? It was about it was about fifteen minutes outside of downtown Seattle, just to the south of it. Oh. So actually, from here to Seattle, it's about a forty-five minute drive. But how close it was on the map, it's hard to tell exactly where it was. You can tell right. that it was on the other side of the pier, though. So it's hard. Yeah, that's his estimation of it for them gotcha. and it's just like mm, you know it could have been it was it was outside of down ooh, it was outside of downtown but it's honestly mm, it was very very close to the city center for it to be that size and us not do anything about it That wouldn't be Gig Carver, would it? You can roll. It could a, be, and he. You may roll a sharp check just as a general idea Ooh. if you even know what Gig Harbor is. Mm. My staff. first roll. I think your first, first roll. roll. Besides Woo! me lucky. I have a know. plus. I have a plus one to shoot. Ooh. Right. Use that brain. All right. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, six. 
Gig Harbor sounds like a Saturday morning either cartoon or a funnies in the newspaper. <laughs> no. Probably more like you you don't you don't actually think that's a real place, do you? It's more it seemed like it was closer to the uh what was that noise that came from? That was Brother, a... you would know about Brotherton because it is there is a naval base right next to it. So that'd be, yeah, probably closer to Brotherton than whatever that whatever that place is. Oh, wait, we learned about the kids disappearing, right? Yeah, you guys don't know about that. Well, yeah, you guys knew. You guys just heard um, mm -hmm. her say that, but yeah. Uh, I look over at. It's Hana, right? Or Han Hanag? Haga? Hanag. 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 Hey, Hanag? Hanag. Hanag. Hey, Hanag? She's currently, she's currently pouring drinks for a bunch of college kids. Mm -hmm. uh, Hanag, when you got a second, come over here. I got a question for you. Uh, do you need more simple wings, or are you guys good? Uh, no, I wanted, I wanted to get a little bit of information about the uh, kids that disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> um. Oh boy. I don't know. I love you so much. Um. <laughs> um. There are people now playing pool. Um. She did turn up the radio, like the TV, a little bit because there's college football on. Um. And um. People are. It's not getting rowdier. There's a karaoke machine. People are singing at. Already half drunk. It's only nine. You know, it's nine twenty now, and people are already getting sloshed. Um. Um, Ooh, Washington, Washington gets... State at Boise. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, she comes over to you, and around this point, um, I'm going to say, um, Logan, the one that she specifically got you hold of is a little faster, and I can go into details about that, or do you want me to continue on with the story? Because I have so much world lore in this world I could spill into you guys, but time is also a thing that we need to focus mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. um, you're able to get there much faster. Um, and you, you know the place, and you can already see the, sort of the line going into it, and there is Thomas standing out in front of it, kind of being the bouncer for the place. Not that the, this place gets a lot of foot traffic, but it's a Friday night. It's going to get a bit more than usual. Um, Tony will wave to you and let you in. Some guy gets angry, and Tony just kind of looks down at him, even when he's not in his wolf form. He's still six foot, like, seven. Um, and weighs easily, like, 285 pounds. He's just like, what? What are you going to say? Um, um, but Logan walks in around the time you say, um, okay, good to know. Um, looks um, over to you guys, bringing you um, this time, instead of little wings, uh, uh, little those little cute little burgers, speedies. Um, sliders. Flamer, <laughs> sliders. Did I say speedies? Yeah, yes, sliders. Speedies. Goodness, brain. I mean, um, that's also a valid name for them because yeah. you can eat them in one <laughs> yeah. bite. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah. Speedy Sliders is what she calls them. Mm -hmm. um, um, they are just oozing with uh, fresh cheese. <laughs> As she um, comes over and says, um, Luck, I adore you, Speedy, but um, when you're referencing missing children, keep it down, please. Oh, uh... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine. Just, uh, but, have a slider, but, sweetie. Have a slider. <laughs> okay, I grab it and I just take a bite out of it. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> yeah, it's very hot. <laughs> I'm like, so oh, those kids. <sighs> All Steph looks over to Luck and is like, "You're new to this, aren't you?" <clears throat> I'm like cooling it down in my mouth, and I'm like, "One second. Uh, where? Oh boy, oh, delicious. Uh, where?" Was where was the location of where the kids uh, the appeared at? The first one was actually a bit. Um, first one was in the um, Gig Harbor area, um, a bit more inland, um, right around the outskirts of the actual town. The other one was in Port Orchard, which is a bit smaller of a town, about the same size, a bit um, further brain. Gig Harbor is a real place. Of course, it's a real I place. That's you, where I live. I thought you were messing with me. Oh, no, it's, well. <laughs> hmm. Not. I don't know how long <clears> they <throat> alcohol staff, but not all um, gnomes live in mushrooms. Fine. And he's... And he, 
He, he was like, he was, he has the look in his eyes like, he has the look in his eyes of like, I don't like you, but you <laughs> make a good point. <laughs> Dippy, you just gave Major Chandler energy from the from friend. He's like, fine, sure, whatever, man. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. Uh, and yeah, the uh, as the discussion of this goes on, mm -hmm. uh, Falstaff just like cross references notes from these books mm -hmm. and from like the information of the of where this has been happening and it was just like um at this point as you guys are doing context clues and just figuring things out logan does walk in um um hobnog wild comes up to you logan and gives you a big old hug he probably pops a few of your vertebrae which is pleasant um <laughs> but unsurprising oh i needed that yeah um, oh. She'll smack you on the shoulder and point to the table, and immediately you see a hound, which is bad news. <laughs> she points yeah. to the table. You said you needed help. Da. They you didn't help. say there was a suit. You didn't ask. And she points to the table one more time. And this is real disappointment in my voice now, just so you know. Yeah, 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 over yeah. There. <laughs> I'll bring you an extra lemon in your whiskey. <laughs> Yeah. As I, as I'm like, as I have like the the protractor and the <laughs> and like the 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 erasable pens, just mm -hmm. like kind of triangulating a position and marking down the coordinates, mm -hmm. oh, and I, just like, uh, uh, I, I, I would like to accidentally sneak up on Diffy. By the way, that is very uh, easy. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. Just, yeah, yeah. Just, just like that. You know, you have a weirdly quiet step, kind of a like. It's oh like, yeah. He's not actually sneaking. It just makes no sound as he walks, kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. so it could have been coming. Uh, could have been coming from the. Uh, <laughs> it could have. What is the geography? I need to pull up a map of Washington. <laughs> uh, Luck's gonna be like looking at you and just like so. How are you going to triangulate when there's only two in incidents? Look, I thought you needed a triangle for that. We know that <laughs> we know that it couldn't we know that it couldn't have come from north of the 49th parallel. So it has to be <laughs> you've lost me, bud. And and you just hear the <sighs> and I imagine Logan is just dramatically breathing up on this guy. <laughs> Here are the the uh... <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, oh, God. D double sorry. Blackstaff. <laughs> oh, yeah, Black I took my glasses off and my hair now because this, this is what you see, hooded and everything, like oh. in all of my six foot seven glory. Just sup. <laughs> Nothing much. Um, hey, Logan. Thank you. Uh, hey. Uh, is this, is this, was this your phone call? Da. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, hey, come, take a seat. And oh, I, like, scooch over in the booth to let Logan uh, take a seat. All right. Thanks. To save on time, I would like mm -hmm. everyone with a at least plus one to their intelligence to, um, uh, or to a plus one to their sharp to yes. just make a general roll with your sharp. Of course, um, of course. To figure out just anything out there because we're actually going to skip ahead to the next morning as you guys are um, figuring out oh, what's yeah. happening next. But we're going to take a break because it's almost been the two hour mark. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, let's take a break. Yeah. yeah. Oh, just, right, make, is, just The rest of this is literally just us talking about notes and stuff. So we yeah. don't have to see that. Three. Okay. We're going to go to break. See you in a bit. Oh, bye bye. Bye bye.
I don't know if Grim's back yet. Oh. Oh, Grim's oh no! Over. Hey, oh, he's, he's right here. here. Okay, oh, okay. Hi. <laughs> he's getting stacked. <laughs> hi, everybody. Welcome back. Hello. Welcome back. Oh my gosh, we're already back. Yeah. I'm struggling to put on the blazer again. Okay, here we go. All right, All right. before we get started, I do want to specify one thing. Any people, um, places that I reference in the campaign or anything like that are fictional. Any situations or people that I bring up are not real. If there's any actual real coincidences, I do apologize. That was completely coincidental. Any, any similarities to depictions here to, here to for or afterwards real is purely coincidental. Yes. 100%. Yeah. Um, also, by the way, everybody, good job on not swearing at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's been going good so far. So far. I have $2 in my bank account. I can't afford to put anything. No, no. like, like I said, I have, oh. a 50, I have one 50 cent coin I am willing to get part with. Mm-hmm. So you got two F bombs in you. So. Yeah, that's, yeah that's, the, that's the that's the PG-13 yeah. rating. Yeah. <laughs> It has oh to be a non sexual. <laughs> All right. All right. Day two. You guys talk for a while. Yes. Get to know each other, become yeah. better acquainted. Um, there are places here that you guys can rest at, or you can stay at some of the back rooms that Hanug has in the back. The back rooms. <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah, I know I got it. <laughs> Just um, no. No. <laughs> Um, SCP I'm, did it first and was better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna stay at the the crack mm-hmm. den. All right. Um, 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 on that sharp roll to find information, are we resolving that oh, yet? Yeah. Or? Yes, yes, we certainly may. Just with, it's gonna be very minimalist. I've, this is not you're not gonna ask any questions. I'm just gonna give you information. Cool. So I um go back to I assume like a, a little pocket of like the small quaint library Mm -hmm. in the back of this dive Mm -hmm. bar um and i I get a little bit of sleep but i spend most of the night studying and like looking through books even ones that i haven't touched in years to try and Mm -hmm. see if i have any information on what monster could cause this large of a signature Uh, okay mechanical translation i rolled a seven but i'd like to use a luck point to turn that into a 12. okay uh you actually bring it up is it just straight to a 12 is that what the rule says um, That's what it mark says left to change sheet. a roll yeah. to 12 or avoid all harm. Okay, so yeah, then 12. All right. Um, big. It's a big monster. It's it's something that... It, it, it's on level with creatures that you've heard stories about, like the Boogeyman, Bigfoot, Mothman. Creatures oh. that... Yeah, exactly. Creatures that you don't joke around with. Like, it's good to have a group try to take it on and... But, I mean... You heard from the barkeep here. Bigfoot's in Florida, and he's been docile for a couple of centuries. Mm-hmm. So, like, unless maybe it's a Sasquatch or someone that tried to duplicate the process of becoming Bigfoot, that might have gone, like, savage or whatever, like... Or a Yeti. Or a Yeti, because you guys are close to Canada. That is possible. Maybe this did come from the 49th parallel. <laughs> Maybe they do um, have a passport. <laughs> Maybe he do got a passport. <laughs> oh no. Um, they it's do a be snowbird. giving out right now. <laughs> you know, right uh, now we don't have all that security in the uh, uh, in that uh, airport hey, area. Hey, hey, hey. So, <laughs> to clarify, I would know that like there's a ritual or process you can do to become a Sasquatch that's not just something you're like born into or not? So with the books it's very it's very just like this is like a animal dictionary and you have like a basic synopsis for each one and there's typically any procedure to become any monster basically. Mm-hmm. Okay. There, because of what <clears throat> um, the hounds did also the organization that Paul Stuff's a part of They've done Wait. experimentation and other things like that to um, figure out how certain monsters can be made in case, you know, military incursion. Are, That's one of the books. Is Bigfoot just a furbolg? Um, no. <laughs> no, actually. But that's, that's, that's a very good point. No, I love that headcanon. <laughs> he might have been a furbolg at some point, but it's much worse now. Oh, no. feral furbolg. Feral furbolg. <laughs> Feral no, he, he, he's about the size of like an ogre, like from D and D. Like, oh, mm, yeah, so he's massive, so half massive. Yeah, yeah. ogre, maybe like part furball, half oh, yeah. ogre. 
I'm Got not going to explain the logistics how you become Bigfoot in my game. <laughs> You're not mommy Bigfoot. Bigfoot and a daddy ogre get together. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no, thank you. The children. Yeah. <laughs> Save, Save the, the kids' children. eyes. Um, Avert your eyes. <laughs> um, but, um... It's the next yeah, day. so, <laughs> next day. Um, it does take, um, about 45 minutes to drive out there if you wish to go in, um, Fall Staff's vehicle or, uh, Lux van. Um, My van does have seating and it's got shag carpeting and <sighs> it's like done up. It's got like lights on the inside that have wired to the battery. Oh, it's you know, done so up. I just need gas it. money. Okay, that's it. That's the only requirement for mine. Yeah, I was like, Logan already doesn't trust a suit, so he'll he'll definitely put some gas money for, for okay. Long. It's uh, just was... it's ten bucks and I get a full tank. Yeah, because it's at this a, point, gasoline was cheaper than a gallon. A, a gallon of gas was cheaper than a gallon of water. Listen, we don't have to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I was we don't. Say, Actually, ten dollars will gas? give me half a tank. So, like, yeah. if I can get ten. False stuff just looks at luck and is like, "Your car still runs on gas?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, or you know, whatever. No, gasoline is is correct. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, in that case, my plan goes. I was gonna say we could Does siphon it... gas from the the government vehicle, and then like they those do not run on gas. They uh, they have listen. They have an I, energy crystal. Um, I, power if source. I if I could yeah. if I could change it to en energy crystal, <laughs> I would. That's just way out of my price range. I'm sorry. I could I could get a few you more have, shows. <laughs> you have to be in this business a little bit longer to get access to that kind of. I mean, I could just get that if I'm really good at this. Uh, if if I mean, hey. Maybe if, if we'll see, we'll see if we can start you on the bottom run. <laughs> As we're putting gas oh. in the in the wait, van. no, my dream. <laughs> <laughs> um. As they're putting gas in the van, I'm gonna take my station in the passenger seat and pull out from my mailbag a booklet of mm -hmm. CDs, and I'm gonna start flipping through them to pick oh my God. tunes. Or gonna... it can be either or. Um, it's up to you. No, oh, I probably have both. I'm prepared for anything. Eight tracks. What, what does the van take? Uh, it it definitely yeah. It has an eight track player, but it uh it's just barely at that like point where it does have a CD player. Or I have an aux cord that plugs into like a CD yeah player <laughs> into a Walkman. Yeah, or like yes. into a Walkman, and like, and I ha and I do have like a CD player that I found that somebody threw at me during a performance, but I kept. <laughs> It's one of the cassettes that has the aux cord coming out of the cassette. Yes. yes. You all remember yes. this? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, Belaidheim, thank you for the stretch. Everyone stretch, please. My wife scolded me for not for not hydrating or stretching every time she posted it. Oh, oh gosh. Are we supposed to hydrate too? Well, not at this moment, but I mean, it never hurts to hydrate. I had my yeah, I had my hydration already. <laughs> I'm fully it. hydrated. Remember, kids. Um, water hydration is important. Saver. It'll also kill you. I almost got water poisoning one time. Doesn't matter. Um, oh, gosh. <laughs> That's moving rough. Moving right along, I, I was working a factory shift, and I, it was 12 hours, and I had four gallons of water. It was, it was rough. Oh. Um, <laughs> Sir. It was, it was pandemic This time, is the first time was... I've ever told somebody this, but please drink less water. <laughs> <laughs> drink less water. I, I've been better about it now. I'm just down to about two gallons a day. No, oh, no. <laughs> Oh boy. Well, I'm on my third currently right now. So Falstaff is following behind Lux. I um, got a also, 10 on my sharp, so also, I would either. By the way, his van is completely decked out with Lucky Strikes, the, ma the, the mystical and magical on the side of it. And mm -hmm. it's like a. Uh, it's like completely withered down, but you can see that the art and decals are still there. See, I hear Lucky Strike and I think of Lucky Strike cigarettes. So I think that you, I feel like you just like he took gets a mixed plastic, up a lot like, and he yeah. didn't know what cigarettes were right away. Yeah. And, but he, he already trademarked the name and he can't take it back <laughs> he now. He got the trademark and Lucky Strike like failed. I had to do the whole the name though. Fell through. Like, yeah. like I had Lucky to do the, the whole name. The mystical the magical mystical. Lucky Strike. Yeah. Yes. I had to do the. I had to trademark the entire name, and oh, but God. like. So you weren't sued. But some people like just walk up because they think I'm selling cigarettes. When in all honesty, I have things set up to do card tricks and whatnot. Yeah. 
you know what's better than smoking cards? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Um, you guys make it to um, this. Like I said, Gig Harbor. It, it does have a major, like, town-like area, but it is long streets, um, all near the water. Um, several different piers going out into the beautiful ocean. Um, trees are growing beautifully, and instead of being heavy rain, there's now just a light drizzle. Um, mm. The kind that you really don't need an umbrella for, but you can, but it, it's just annoying. <laughs> um, but you get to the police station, and inside, this is a very small building. It maybe has three rooms. Um, and as you walk to the front door, you do see just a holding cell. So this is a very small, small, small town. Mm -hmm. um, for the receptionist, um, all of you see, you guess she doesn't see, though, is a beholder working um, on a computer and says, Hello, friend. How can I help you today? Um, yes, hello. Uh, we were just uh, wondering if... Uh, the contact's name, I should have given it, I apologize, is um, uh, Deputy Carter. Deputy mm. Carter, is, Carter is our lead. Is our is your is um, Hanog's contact? Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, we were just um, we were just hoping that we could have uh, just hoping that we could have audience with uh, with Deputy Carter if we could. Oh, you for Carter? Yeah, sure. I'll give me one second. Um, and she <laughs> pulls the intercom. Carter, got a suit waiting for you out in the front desk. Come over here, please. Why does everybody keep calling me that? Do you all have something against? Like, yes. Mm, fair enough. And I just like look back up. And mm. you would just sit here in the little area, um, have a look at a magazine or something. Gladly. And I like just take a seat in like the in like the cup bench, and I yes. like just slip down it a little bit, and I'm just like, come on, <laughs> and just and just like. Uh, at this point, uh, he'll just be like, "Well, if this is what is, it, if this is what's gonna drive, he'll be long and short of it. He like goes from like the full decked out suit to mm -hmm. he's going more like inconspicuous. He goes the sleeves turn from long sleeves all the way up to uh, sleeves go from long to short." Buttons go from all the way down to polo, uh, and pants go from black to match to the blazer to uh, taupe, like gray. And so, you're not gonna do a quick change for us, <laughs> yeah? Just <laughs> you're right back, <laughs> uh, but the uh, the tie just goes from fully tied to just simply around the just simply untied around the neck and is just. I, you know. what I'm going to do is like look at the tie, like straighten it out, and then start pulling it. And then you start seeing, like, from his sleeve out of nowhere, just like a longer tie tied to it go around. And then he's going to switch your tie to a more colorful one. Can I roll magic for <laughs> to see how long that goes? <laughs> sure, go ahead and roll a, will a weird check if you would like. Seven. Seven. Okay, I'll be right back. I got back. a six and a one. <laughs> so it works, but you do stumble a little bit, and those that would be paying attention, most likely Dippy, um, do notice that you kind of get caught for a second. Hold on. <laughs> um, you, 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 do, you do get caught for a second, but you're able to transition it very well. Oh! There um, we go. Upon seeing this transition, uh, Becky's going to like perk up from whatever book she's reading. See, now you look like you do taxes and you're a little bit sad. Much um, more approachable. I, would, approach it, much I better. will also pocket the tie. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> like my say, tie? Like my original tie? Yes, your original tie. I will I pocket will that. Say, I will say it is up to Falstaff if you think that with a seven, which is like the bare minimum, bare bones, you didn't catch him trying to pocket your tie. <laughs> that probably was like $130. Yeah, I'm like... I like he like starts to put like the long end of the tie into his pocket and then as he like readjusts to put more of it in, Falstaff's hand just comes down to meet his. He's just like 
Hey, big guy. How's it going? Do you have? Do you, do you, can you afford this tie? <laughs> <laughs> can you can you can you can you afford the 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 rangu the, rangu? Can you afford the Cambodian silkworms that made this tie uh, over you, the course of over the course of seven weeks? I, I'll look at him <laughs> and be like, "Are you proposing?" Because <laughs> if so, it's a no. Just just give me the tie back. <laughs> I, I do I thought I, no. I do appreciate this. <laughs> sure. I do appreciate this, but I need that back. <laughs> and I look down and it's just. A... It is definitely. I've also taken like his coffee. pants. I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 Refusing to propose, um, but still taking off his pants. That's that's an interesting turn oh of events. <laughs> okay. Can I also, so. I want to like while I'm doing this fail, I would like to mm -hmm. use my charm to or something i want to like basically do the magician net point of sleight of hand within okay. something else to like i don't know check his body see what's on him so you want to manipulate someone basically yes um I, to well, think I that say, this is like the full thing and like i want to check his body see what's on him sure. i will say with your weird check that typically i would say that does count at, if if you agree i'm all about you know being fair your weird trick was doing the trick, and typically what you know a lot of carnies will do, um, as they're doing a trick around you, they've already checked your wallet, they've checked your watch, they've done all that stuff. So oh, yeah. you've probably detected that he has a lot more weapons that are not visible at the moment as you were giving him a quick uh, pat down, as mm -hmm. it were. Um, more specifically, also, if, if, if he feels this with a seven, I don't know if he does. Mm -hmm. uh, it is the bare minimum. You feel, I'll say with a seven, you feel the like the bare minimum outline of a submachine gun. Uh, the bare minimum Sir. outline. <laughs> I, actually, I will say this. So you can choose a your um you can choose the effect and a glitch. So like so you were able to basically give him a pat down. But what is the side effect of this? Other would you like to say it's just you got caught? Um, is your is the glitch or? Um, it works in perfect maybe using okay. I mean, so I already I got caught, but the okay, thing yeah. is, is that like I will be like as I'm doing this, like pulling the tie, I'm like stringing my hand across his chest as well, mm -hmm. feeling it, and he might seem it as slightly sexual. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he with the line, "Are you proposing?" and he, he's like, "Does that hand movement <laughs> exactly?" Ball staff is more focused on the fact that he's still trying to pocket his tie. <laughs> And, Paul, it is, and if you did that hand motion with that, if this is continuing, that's seven. Ooh. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> timer. It, with that seven, you if you're doing that motion across his chest, you'll also feel a harness with a revolver in it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and, and he's just going to, like, pat your chest and... Just, like, like just, just like... In, not, yes. take, slight of hand. I just, no. Take the tie back. Oh, I was okay. gonna put it as like a little pocket. Hey, he a little pocket okay. handkerchief. Little. Yeah. Later. Oh, he'll try to take the tie back, and then it'll just like get. And it's end up already in, the in your pocket, just... so it's like it's just like. <sighs> <sighs> Never one for party tricks, and I just. <laughs> well, that was entertaining. Uh, Deputy Carter says, um, walking into a <laughs> slight applause. Carter. Uh, well, you must be Hugman's friends and associates. Of course, of course. Uh, name's uh, False Stuff, uh, and Ron Division. Mm hmm. Sir? He gives you a slight salute. I'm just the paper guy. Don't, don't do that. Like, uh, and this is, uh, this is, these are my associates for this. Uh, Becky, Logan, and, uh, Luck. I shoot my hand out for a handshake. Becky Babble Stitch, mail carrier. Love to meet. Pleasure to meet you. Oh wait, you? Yeah, I know you. You delivered some packages for my wife. Oh, does she live in uh, Gig Harbor? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's the one that really, really likes those catalogs. Oh <laughs> yeah. I don't mind delivering them. They don't take any weight at all. Yeah. So I know what she wants. 
That's so I'll encourage her. That voice. I'll encourage her. It keeps me employed. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, I'll take you guys to the scene of the crime so you guys can meet the family. Okay. Okay. All right. About another 30 minute drive. Um, it's it's out in the middle of nowhere. It's, it's very much the boonies. You do see some telephone wires, but that's the closest thing to signs of civilization. There's no lamp posts or anything out here. When the wires stop, that's when you get worried. <laughs> <laughs> Um, go into a little street, and he first brings you to the bike. It was, it's a decent bike. It's not like top of the line or like, mm. uh, triple a, a triple A, like, bad A, like, I, I'm forgetting all the cool brand names of bikes back in the Schwinn. 90s. Oh, no. Yes. There we go. Thank you. Wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it's a middle class bike to be sure. It's not the newest or fanciest, but it looked in good condition other than, you know, a couple of the, um, connector pieces for the center of the front tire are just gone um this is a mountain bike like, uh no it is just a regular like it's a dirt bike but not a road a bike. bike yeah it's one of those funky hybrids it's got like that yeah yeah, yeah 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 oh yeah. dude it's a it's a badger it's like this i mean it's an older <laughs> version but you know it's yeah this is actually a pretty good one uh i mean now i look at like i look at it it's like it's got gears it's i used to I used to have one of these when I was younger. All staff has the GI umbrella back out as the rain picks up, just like, mm -hmm. and they step out of the car, and it's just like, so this family is the, and just keeper to player, this family mm -hmm. is of the child who went missing or, or friend of? Child that went missing. Okay. I've had enough had enough time to <clears throat> had enough time to put in a formal, you know, real person investigation for this. And they haven't gotten anywhere with it. Nothing yet. I mean I play um there's a local uh, bingo night and I've met the family a couple different times. Oh. Yeah. Um and this Susan should be easy. and Ivan Yvonne. Ivan Yvonne. Ivan Yvonne. <laughs> Ivan Yvonne. <laughs> and parents didn't think, uh, parents were immigrated here about 20 years ago. Um, uh, had a bit of trouble with that, but um, good guy. He uh, works in Brotherton uh, on one of the boats. Welder. <laughs> <laughs> Just cocks the head, walks up, starts to walk up. He will make more he will like tuck, tuck the the larger pen size device into his pocket to like make it less obvious. But he has it on him in case he needs it. All right. As he's going up to the door, can I like generally scan the surrounding area, see if there's any sign that like a monster had been stalking this family prior to the kid going missing? Absolutely. Go ahead and roll to investigate a mystery. And this house is middle class. Like, just barely making it into middle class. Um, it's closely well together. Say, I'm sorry, Logan? Oh, I was going to say, also, as uh, as Logan steps out of the car, he's going to just put his hood up and try to use the site, see if okay. there's anything worth investigating in the area. Right. Or um, anything you can, asking. Um, um, you can give Becky plus one, if you'd like, with that to help with their search, or you can also do a check also. Um, um, it is up to you. Right, so, so Becky, you get to add an additional one to your roll. With that plus one, it's uh, an eight on a shark check. Eight, okay. Nice. Um, which means you get to ask me one question. I do believe. Um. Yes. While well, she one. thinks of that, mm -hmm. um, can I use weird to look around for traces of magic? Um, that's what the investigate the mystery. Oh, okay, is for. never mind. Right. Totally I will. I will use. I would like to use a cool check to act under pressure and just hand uh, some spare pairs. Uh, some spare pairs of sunglasses to the people around me, to Logan and to Becky and to Luck. Mm -hmm. Just make it le Make it like less obvious to mm -hmm. to the to uh, mm -hmm. Deputy Carter and to the family if. The family is already like waiting on the front step. They are not. Okay. All right. Then I'll just 
I guess no cool check needed then. I'll just hand a spare pair of sunglasses to each person. Okay. I just look uh, at like, don't then. freak the sunglasses, put it in my vest. And I, <laughs> and I say, and I just like, him. Like, and as I'm handing them to each person, uh, just over the course of handing them out, I just say, if you see me reaching for my front pocket, please make sure to put these on. And I uh, will d- just leave it at that. Deal. Uh, I get the sense... Oh, sorry, yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm trying to look at my things of what I could do. I could maybe do what could go wrong. It, this is an immediate danger, though, but... Uh, no. Mm. Too full. Um, so... But I get a plus two if I act under pressure. That is true. Which would be this... Situ- like, if I use this situation no. to kind of... I'm manipulating the rules. Sorry. Right. <laughs> While you're figuring out how to choose the rules, um, I figured out what question. Okay. Yes. I want to ask. ask the one. Um, Falstaff, as you hand Becky these sunglasses, you get the sense that she is remarkably uncool. She just puts them on. They just don't look right on her. They're, like big <laughs> they're a little, yeah. They're like the they're like the 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 New Year's sunglasses, and they just yeah, extend they just, a little too far out. So, you think the if she had more more? She was more charismatic. It would work. But um, yeah. Yeah. Can I like take her sunglasses really quick and just wipe them with my like shirt and then they suddenly become small? <laughs> oh. um, they still roll... look weird. Astounding. Uh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't doing um, that for flavor. Uh, yeah. If you're trying to roll magic, roll for weird. <laughs> oh my oh god. shit, I got an 11. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I got a sw- No! <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I got an eleven. He said okay. the word. But he said the S word. Oh, no. He said the S. Oh okay. no! I'll put it's one. it's the up. first day of the fundraiser. That's fine. The swing of it. That's fine. Um, <laughs> All so right. Magic to the... without issues, and your the sunglasses just actually work perfectly. <laughs> Wait, um, she's still astoundingly uncool because she be- immediately puts these on, and you think someone might like saunter a bit, have a little bit of swagger with yeah. some cool shades on. She immediately straight arm sprinting around yeah. the house. Oh god! <laughs> uh, wait, no, 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 no! It's not what I meant. Okay. Yeah, also, and, um, no cool. So yeah, no, he looks like every college like I I have a hangover right now. <laughs> Dark glasses, long hair. Like. He puts on his his oh, headphones dear. and you just hear smells like Teen Spirit playing yeah. <laughs> really loud. I'm just a teenage dirtbag. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. So he <laughs> shades on immediately, like doing a, a like run around the house. Um. With yeah. that eight sharp check, do I see any signs of a large creature like the ones I read about? that um, would give off a big signature so like that. So, investigate a mystery, you can ask one of these questions. What happened here? What sort of creature is it? What can it do? What can it hurt? Where did it go? What is it going to do? Or what is being concealed here? Oh my gosh. Um, It's I on think... the second. It's the Monster of Greek revised. It's basically all the things you can do. It's the Hunter Gender Tap. Oh yeah. I'll, I'll resend that so you guys can uh, pull it up, because that's basically what you can do with your things. Okay, sorry. I don't know if we could, like, improv oh. questions. Nope. Um, po- I would love to, but just to keep it fair for everyone and also just how the rules are played. I see it. Let's go with what sort of creature is it. I think that'll help us a lot. Um. Okay, and looking a, around. An eight. an eight, okay. Looking at where the bike was and... Um, there is tape around where the bike was, and there are kind of stakes. As you're looking at it, a couple of things you immediately um, begin to notice. One, the air in this area is unnaturally cold, and there is a layer of frost here, even though it's maybe like 10 a.m. And yeah, it's cold, like it's freezing rain, but there's no there's no frost or like snow falling at the moment. Um, another thing, it smells musty like old Hmm. um and on the first day i think that's the best you're able to figure out with just an eight okay so i finished my lap around the house still like straight arm jogging (laughs) Mm -hmm. and i I, like come to the the back of the group as they Mm -hmm. knock on the door um um i will to use my ability take the lead within this 
Okay. And begin lying and not make it seem like we're like just suits of supernatural things, but instead mm -hmm. uh, we are child like detectives that uh, are professional like child investigators, like basically yeah, you know, looking for missing uh, children. So you're gonna try to make us pass for you're gonna try to make us pass for like mundanity detectives rather than supernatural detectives yes. to start to be, with. To because be fair, supernatural things don't really exist, so that mm -hmm. makes a lot of sense actually. So good job, Donald. Okay. You may act under pressure if you'd like. Okay, I get a plus two. <laughs> you do. Because of my ability. And because of your logic you just said, I will give you a plus one as the DM. Okay. So it makes it a so plus, a plus three. three. Way to go, Donald. Okay. 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 Yeah, I'm glad you did that because Falstaff would definitely have not have had any chill. He just would have been like, hi, we're from the secret government. Like, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I rolled a five, but I have a three. plus three. So that's an eight. I believe that is a semi success, but yes. I will also use my free luck. Do, if I make it a nine, does that change it or no? It turns it just to a direct 12. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then I will use... Wait, Your birthday luck? Yes, my birthday luck, I guess, to make it okay. a 12. <laughs> All right. Under a 12, you may either choose to do what you wanted to do and something extra, or do what you want to do uh, to absolute perfection. Uh, ooh. <laughs> the one to open the door is um, the wife, Susan. Okay, uh... I'll be like, hi, ma'am. We Yvonne. are detectives, not with not the local, uh, or we we are tit detectives, not looking. Uh, uh, we are in charge of your case, not for your child. We're terribly sorry for your, your situation, but would you mind us coming in and asking you a couple questions? And uh, don't. Well, Steph like looks over at this happening and is just like really impressed. Like, Becky even whispers like, to you, this is the guy that was crying into his suit last night? Shh. <laughs> uh, he, he'll nod, but he'll go like, <laughs> she, She's a shorter woman, um, maybe staying at like 5'3". Um, a little bit of gray coming in, maybe looks like late 30s, early 40s. Um, a woman that has crow street for her and um, wrinkles inside her face from probably smiling too much, but mm -hmm. she's not... She does not look like she's been smiling all night. Um, yeah. Her eyes are a little puffy from... Mm. She says, like, oh, yeah, please come in. And she opens please the Please tell me guys. this house smells like cookies because it's in the house she copes. <laughs> um, gingerbread, actually, but yes. Oh, okay. Gingerbread. Oh, I'm allergic. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm Darn. How unlucky is luck. <laughs> Darn. Uh, he will... Nah, he smells it. So, oh, that's... Smells delicious within this house. Thank you. As he chimes on the top. So as you walk to the house, it is a very, it's not a very furbished home, but it's comfortable. Um, there are a few um, details. You can see a couple pictures of um, um, their son, along with um, a couple other photos of what looks like um, other family members. Um, those looking around the house, the thing that probably catches um, the people that are looking for like odd things, or, like things getting ready, they have one of those. Um, I want to make sure I'm saying this word right. Um, they have a um, um, a. I, I'm gonna put this. I'm so sorry. Uh, Metro soccer dolls or those like. Increasing and decreasing dolls that you get in Russia. Oh, okay. Matryoshka dolls. Yeah. Matryoshka dolls. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Hmm. Lovely. Um. And it's it's a fairly big one. Um. That. But it's it's over there on fireplace that is currently going at the moment. Um, wow. She comes out with everyone. Um, coffee, a tea, and a freshly made gingerbread. <laughs> And it's not uh -oh. like the cookies, it's actual gingerbread. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I look at the Makashita doll and I say, Are uh where'd you get uh, your fine doll here? 
Oh, um, it it was my uh, husband's mother's. Um, she passed away a couple years ago. Um, right, right before our uh, son's birth. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but it seems as though maybe, yeah, she had her own interests, and I hope that that item reminds you of her and uh, brings joy into this house. Uh, she she lived in uh, Soviet Russia, and they were able to escape. It's well, very... then it is a very joyful thing of a reminder, isn't it? Uh, I will turn this over to my associate. I am shaking. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, Luck is shaking. He's just like... <laughs> so he's just gonna, like, tap on you, Flagstaff. Uh, he is still Flagstaff? Fla fa Flagstaff? Flagstaff? Falstaff. 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 No, I love Flagstaff. No, I love Flagstaff. <laughs> I, I, That's he, your alter ego when you're in is, <laughs> By the way, he is damp. He does not look like it. <laughs> like, he is still damp because he didn't have the umbrella. <laughs> and he's just kind of like... Mrs. Mrs. Yvonne, Detective Sergeant Flagstaff. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I just wanted to uh, get some general information... Get some general information for our records, if you didn't mind. Oh, I mean, I, I told this with, uh, I did this with the deputy earlier, but yeah, okay. Um. We, uh, different departments, uh, we'd like to check and double check if you, if, if that's all on the up and up. Yeah, um, excuse me. Um, it was a school night. He, he had just finished school. Um, he was supposed to, you know, come home at like, he usually gets home around maybe five. Um, we didn't get a call from any of his friend's parents or anything like that. So there's a convenience store bit down the road. He probably what he goes to on occasion. This is his birthday recently. Um, probably tried to get something and she has the Game Boy container in her hand and brought this silly thing and she puts it on the coffee table. Um, I look at foul staff and like, that's a Game Boy. Yeah, uh, uh, looks like colored. <laughs> um, it he plays didn't even video open it. games. <laughs> he's a, he's a gamer. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, you opened it? Hmm. No, Good no, 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 no. I didn't know. Maybe he had fingerprints on it. Whoever took him might have had it on there, but apparently there weren't any. He's wearing his gloves. It's cold. Um. Mm. Um, Would you mind if we checked if it still works? I mean, it's not even opened. Like, it's still, like, in all the plastic packaging and everything, but... Like, never vacuum happened. sealed and everything. Yeah, it's it's untouched entirely. But, I mean, if you want to break... If you want to open this priceless, you know, thing, it's next to it. You're going to drop the value um, of it by, like, $200 just by opening yeah. it? <laughs> I guess this is some... Take it from, take it from, item, take it from mint. Take it from mint and near mint. Yeah. Um, this is some out of lore knowledge I, I have that I don't know if Becky would have. Would Becky know that um, like monsters or like certain types of monsters mess with electronics and the more powerful yes. it is, the more significant. Mm -hmm. So then, yeah. How, however, if it has never been turned on, it wouldn't it wouldn't have been affected. Basically, right. when all the lights flickered, that's when it happened because that's when it did its magic. Right. Creatures similar right. to Hanog and whatever this creature is, they're either a so powerful that anytime they use their magic or their abilities, they start messing with electrical frequencies. Or anytime they do anything, magical frequencies are triggered and spooky. Just things, out but... of curiosity, he'll take the uh, false staff. Will take the Game Boy in his hand and will just like put on. He, you would think reading glass. He puts on his sunglasses for like uh, just to just to see if there's any kind of signature. Like he has the running ticker, or not the running mm -hmm. ticker, but like the general information. Uh, displayed when he looks through his glasses and he wants to cross-reference it. If that'll be like, I don't know. I want you to roll to investigate a mystery and the thing that you'll be able to detect with it um, is what is being concealed here, uh, what yeah. happened here, um, or where did it go? Probably, or or what is being concealed here, or just one of those two? Uh, I will say, it depends on um, what is being concealed here. Go ahead and roll investigate. Holy Toledo. That was a, uh, hold on. Shut up. Uh, 
sharp. That is a 13. I rolled okay. double sixes. Ooh. Okay. So you so, get to ask all three questions. Uh, nice. yeah. What happened? What happened? Where did it go? And what is concealed? Yeah. Uh, okay. Or if it gives me a more detailed answer, I'll leave out what is being concealed and I'll just ask what happened and where. Um, so around the area where there was the frost, there is also still, for some reason, frost on this thing, but it's so small. It just mm-hmm. looks like handprint smudges. Mm-hmm. Um, but looking at it with your glasses, there is a distinct like poof of dust on it that does confirm that this was not some sort of like human kidnapping. There is magic residue on this Game Boy. However, um, a couple things. It is not demonic, um, is what you're able to... That is the... You can't tell what kind of dust it is because it's too faint, because this was mm-hmm. in the person's pocket before it disappeared, or whoever mm-hmm. was dragged away. Um, it is not demonic or some sort of, like, ghostly figure. This thing has a physical, tangible form. And yeah, it is not paranormal. It is physical. It's, it's, um, it is a supernatural thing, but it is not... Yeah, supernatural, not incorporeal. Um, yes. Yeah. So while they're doing this, can I mm-hmm. real quick look at the mom and say, um, sorry to bother you, but can I go use your bathroom? Uh, yeah, um, she points um, towards the direct, um, towards the direction you guys came through. Um, it's the second door on the right um, before you go into the kitchen. Okay. Um... I will leave, and as I'm going up and, like, away from the sight of everyone, I'm mm-hmm. going to look and see if I can see the boys' bedroom. Okay. Um, no, unfortunately. There's only the other side of the house. Damn it. We'll try it yet. You can find um, the father's office, um, and hmm. then it's the bathroom, and then it's the kitchen. Um, real quick glancing around, um, do I see any indication of like drawings from the kid or uh, whatever like maybe there's indication that maybe the child had seen something while or like had anything going on um the reason no okay um no the the thing that you do notice is that there is um as you're kind of walking by there is a not it's not a picture it looks like it was um quilted it was a quilt that's been hung up like as a painting or like a photo mm-hmm. of the um russian greek catholic church that has been hung up so this household was religious or is still currently religious okay um nothing out of the ordinary no like no drawings on the on the um on the fridge or anything like that okay um i'll go into the bathroom and wait there for a second probably drink some water from the sink, wash my hands, splat, like splash a little bit, use the hand towel, wipe mm-hmm. myself off and like just like look at myself in the mirror. It's like you could you could do this. <laughs> You're so capable. <laughs> so in a religious household with no demonic presence, it's mm. that eliminates that motive. Yes. <laughs> and he he he'll fall stuff will just think to himself. Uh mm-hmm. <clears throat> And did I get, so the wear is related to the fact that this was nearby because of the frost? Yes, it would right. be in the vicinity next to the bike, um, not in the house per se. The house seems to be clean so far. Right, right, right. Yeah, it is definitely an outside effect to this family, not within the family itself. That's what it seems to be, yes. Yeah, yeah. And he'll, like... Remove the sunglasses and give the Game Boy back. And just be like, mm. with no, with no out, oh, uh, gosh, with no alternative contact to any of his friends or f- to any of his friends, did you did he tell you what he was basically going to be doing before he was supposed to come home? No, he was supposed to come right home. We have a we have a curfew for a reason. Mm. And we know he went to that that shop. Otherwise, he wouldn't have had the Game Boy. Have you ever been in there? Did I have seem off? They have those pictures of those darn bands that are devilish. (laughs) 
creeps out well. here having flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if I'm traumatizing anyone in no. chat. <laughs> <laughs> Not my players, they're fine. No, they no, can no. handle it. <laughs> um, and Logan, I'll go over what you saw with your sight, by the way. Actually, you helped, never mind, so yep, you're yep. fine. Um, uh, taking a general look around, just like going over the basic information again, it's just like the new stuff that we've learned is that this vicinity it, it's close it was close mm -hmm. so they either it's very sneaky and the literally the family didn't know even if it was this close or it's related to the family but it's not related to the family because of the connections that we've already gained so we are dealing with a very with a very silent but deadly type mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This whole thing stinks. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. And we've just Zing. been talking with the mom this whole time. The mm -hmm. mom. Yeah. Um, I guess one more question. Um, mm -hmm. Did you find his bike with the Game Boy, or did you find it somewhere else? He had seemed to have broken the tire and left it, which means he probably was using his headlight. Um, but no, it was a bit of ways before where we found the Game Boy in his backpack. What was the weather like that night? Yesterday it was pouring pretty hard. It was pretty cold. Um, would so you I could have slipped on some permafrost, possibly. Not that cold. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> My apologies. Uh, You're not from around here, are you, sweetie? Mm. You could say that. And he'll just, like... <laughs> Continue to look around the room. He'll like not make eye contact, knowing what he just said, and just like. <laughs> <laughs> now you just look like a nervous accountant, though. You don't look like a suspicious, <laughs> kid, so it's okay. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Do you all wish to leave at this point? It seems, from what you guys have rolled, there's no more information information to be gathered in this place. From here, yes. Yeah, maybe we should try the shop next. Okay. Mrs. Yvonne, thank you so much for your time. Uh, is there anywhere else on the... Uh, would you allow us to do just a general canvas of the premise? Premises? As, really as long as... Yes. Sorry. Uh, I, was, I was just wondering um, if it's possible if Logan could just kind of like be in the background, just kind of like, again, weirdly mm -hmm. quiet um, <laughs> and use uh, another one of my uh, traits or abilities or whatever they're called, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, looking to use premonition. Could you premonition for me, please? You say read it? Yes, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it says uh, at the start of each mystery, roll a weird, and then on a 10 plus, uh, you get a detailed vision of something bad that is yet to happen, and you can take a plus one forward to prevent it coming true uh, and mark experience mm -hmm. if you stop it. Um, on a seven to nine, you get a clouded image of something bad that is yet to happen. Uh, mm -hmm. Mark experience if you stop it. And on a miss, you get a vision of something bad happening to you and the keeper holds three to be spent uh, one for one as penalties to rolling, uh, to rolls you make. Yes. Um, all right, definitely. You can go into a roll pro as you're just kind of looking around this area. Uh -huh. Let's see, where do I put my dice? On the uh, hotel. Two seconds. I gotta remember. Where I if put you them. want me to, I can roll for him. I'm terrible, but you know, I could roll. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at that bag, actually. I'll just grab your dice. Eh. Eh. New dice. Go. Okay. We got What's that. That's a six. Six plus your weird. Plus my weird, which is two. Eight. Oh, sorry. That was just the uh, one dice. Because uh, I'm, I'm oh. still going to oh. find another D6. All right. I got you. Got you. All right. There, there we, we go. go. So a six and a four. So 10 plus, plus two, my weird, two. So 12. All right. 12. All right. As you're sitting there, um, you also take a, hand, a second to look at the Game Boy. You've seen them, but you never bought one. You know, silly video games. Those don't catch on. Um, um, 
and you're just kind of holding over it for a second. And what you see, can I have that spooky music one more time, Donna? Yeah. Oh. I will gladly do that. Give me one oh second. Just gonna, where's my remote? Um, it's raining. Unnormally hard. You're on a small ferry boat, or a boat of some kind, going towards an island. You hop off it. You're not yourself, you can tell that much. Um. Do I recognize the island by chance, or? You, you do not. Well, okay. you do not. This Not from this angle, anyway. Okay. Um. You're walking, and with the damp pouring rain, you're feeling suddenly colder and colder as you're going further into this forested island. Then snow begins to fall, which doesn't make sense, because if you look out back to where the water was, the water was there a moment ago. You did not walk that far into the beach, or you did not walk that far into the island. You're discombobulated. You start calling for... Um, Falstaff. It's not your voice, you, but you can tell. You can't say, tell whose voice it is, but you can tell that someone is shouting for someone. Um, you then see a large figure cackling. You don't get to see how its face, but it seems to take a lunge, and then you're snapped back to reality. You could turn on the regular music, please. Mm -hmm. You don't just get to go back to the nice blue lighting after freaking us out like that. Who's getting punched at? I have a, oh, I have a, I have a permit. <laughs> Here I have a permit. It's like I can do whatever I want. <laughs> I'm the one who writes the permits. <laughs> I um, am the man who changes the color of the lights. <laughs> as, as Logan comes back into the room, he's just gonna uh, look at everybody. He's like, "So, what have we found out?" Uh, yeah, the leaving the general, leaving the room with the woman mm -hmm. and like reconvening, uh, it basically comes down to, well, uh, we've already determined that whatever this is, isn't demonic or otherwise, uh, tied to any, tied to the nether realm at least. So we can rule that out. Um, uh, I we can found rule frost out. all over the property. And I found frost on the Game Boy. Oh. So, it's been around, but it's been quiet enough for um, the for the worried party to not even notice. I would like to look at this Russian like stacking doll. Okay. The Trishka doll. What's the vibe? Can I vibe check this thing? <laughs> to be fair, like the old ones are pretty scary because yeah. it, it's definitely seen some love, um, meaning that it's been like, used a bunch. They're um, Russian Catholics. Is there are... Russian Orthodox? Yeah, Russian, Russian Orthodox. Russian Orthodox. Mm -hmm. um, what do I know about Russian folklore? None of you guys have done any research into that or brought that up. Nope. Not yet. It has not been referenced or questioned. And I know, I think for a fact that Luck probably has no enough, no knowledge about Russian folklore. I can roll. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Go ahead and roll Don't a, let a me. sharp check. <laughs> I have a minus one to this, so. <laughs> this will only end well for you. Is this reading a bad situation? No, I mean, is this house a bad situation to be in? I don't think so. Uh, right? Yeah, fair. <laughs> also, anytime you roll less than a seven, make sure you're marking an experience point. Oh, if you um, don't take a luck point. Can I use my oops? If not, you want not stumble across something important. Um, unfortunately, that would not apply in this circumstance. Okay. Unless you're picking up this doll and trying to see if there's anything bizarre. 
useful through uh, n not necessarily related to your immediate problem um yeah i'll use it like i'll be like hey can i look at like be able to touch and look at the doll and move it about you know and also uh i rolled a nine on the die and i have a minus <laughs> one so an eight on my show oh boy okay um as you are touching this your oops is that your um as you're touching with it one slips out of your hands and falls onto the ground you go onto the ground and like it's next to the fire pit that is lit so you quickly grab it because it's a wooden doll um but one thing you notice, um, at, in the fireplace, um, there is a sigil on the back. Um, it looks like, um, the centerpiece is obviously a cross, but then there are odd diagrams and symbols that you mm. do not know how to read, even in the slightest, mm. um, that seem to be there, and it, it does seem to be marked into the actual stone. It's not mm -hmm. brick like the rest of the fireplace. It's a part of the actual like back half, which is typically covered in you know ash or um, like charcoal residue, if you would. Uh, but this mark is untouched. Okay. Um, I will take out like I will go into be, my. Be careful, coat. please. I, um, I, I'm sorry, and I, I'll put the doll back while also pulling out like a deck of cards pull out mm -hmm. a card and on the back of it take like a pen and just write down the symbols that okay. I just saw to make note of it um and then I will look at oh uh Falstaff and uh just kind of give him a look I was just like uh <laughs> And then, like, sleight of hand, hand him uh, the card with the symbols on it. Easy enough to do. She's mostly, she's looking at you, confused, but if Falstaff walks up to you and you give him something, mm -hmm. she's not going to ask. She's distraught. And now you almost burnt one of her mother-in-law's dolls. It's fine. So, it's fine. I mean... Like, I'm sorry. Um, my bad. But it's okay. It, uh, I swear to you, card, you're good. Deputy card Carter's like, I, uh... Yeah. I, like, am I walking towards her, go. put it right yeah. into his chest pocket. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Deputy Carter says, I think it's time for us to go. Thank you, um, Susan, for letting us in. Mm -hmm. Let's get a move on. <laughs> yes, we'll just take another one more look. One more look around the general area, and we'll be out of your hair. I'll be with him. Don't worry, Susan. And he gently puts a hand on her shoulder. Mm -hmm. And um, um, she seems happy with that. What were the other boys that were with him? that night I, I just his friends that live near here um mm -hmm. they didn't see anything did they that they the police um carter will shake his head mm -hmm. they separated to get one to their own homes okay so this happened this had to have happened somewhere between the last friend's stopping place and getting to his home. This is a very, very close proximity to, we're in very close proximity to ground zero for this very large blip. Mm -hmm. And the first um, attack, because this is the second one, right? Yeah. Okay, so the first one is nearby, was it nearby this area as well? Not, not too close, but within like a 25 foot like 25 mile radius. Okay. So like days trip about. Mm -hmm. So it's moved. Okay. And we know that it has a lingering effect. This mm -hmm. frost that's on the bike, the Game Boy around the house, mm -hmm. that's um, at least like 16 hours old. Also, I did get an I don't know what an 8 does for sharp. <laughs> mm -hmm. But um so I am bending the rules a little bit because you were doing something like that. You're able to see you basically made an investigation check or a perception check. Mm -hmm. um, because typically with using sharp, you only can do the two things that tells you can okay. do. Uh, I, oh, I, I'm not I, allowed to know like the history of things or whatever? Not quite, no. Okay, never mind. Okay, cool. You just found a sigil thing. Yeah, yeah you found a sigil it. thing, which is helpful. It's just not... You I just like, don't know ah! anything about it, so... Right. You can not a Sherlock moment yet. Yeah, got it. 
Uh, that would have to take like another sharp check, I suppose. Yeah. Or someone who is knowledgeable on things might. Yeah. Because of your character is sharp, it's also a caveat of like, be, even though you're able, like, that's magical, you don't know what on earth that means. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. They all and... step outside. All right. Um, yeah. It's raining a little heavier now. Okay. Um, definitely now weather, uh, bro worthy weather. Um, I like put an ear to my. I put a. I put a. I put a hand to my ear. And just like I want to radio, like Enron, real quick, or like someone at Enron, whether it's do you have a whether skill for that? The uh, when you deal with the agency requesting help or gear, mm -hmm. uh, I can roll sharp. Oh yeah, uh, go for it. You're a keen thing, buddy. Um, we'll probably be the one to answer. Yeah, um, I was wondering if it was gonna be that guy. Probably. Uh, and I'm just like. Hey, dumb question. Uh, do we have? Did we have any confirmed like movements for any of Jack Frost's descendants? <laughs> um, actually, that that's a funny story because there are actual children of the Frost, which are the exact descendants of Jack Frost. Uh, that's what I was kind of going for. Yeah, was that, that is a thing. That um, Jack Frost probably may or may not have something to do with this. <laughs> Not, not really, man. I mean, most of them are in. I, I mean, some of them work for us, but all of them take vacations in Cuba. Um, the um, the ones around, none around here, none that have been any major threat. Mm. Maybe some, you know, ones that might have potential, but then grow up to be, you know, pencil pushers. Right, right, um, right. Uh, uh, we had a link. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. I but... like tap on his shoulder and like. Um, I don't know who you're talking to. It looks a little crazy. Uh, but did you get a chance to look at the thing I put in your pocket? Yeah, that was what I was going to relay to them next okay. was the... Uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and send you... I'm going to go ahead and send you this. And I will, like... You place... will take, out a, you take out your little thing. Take out the card. Into, take yeah. out your card. You'll take out your little pen thing. Yeah. Uh, your, your, And you'll draw on it. And the card will just... Mm -hmm disappear it'll be sent to him basically you yep. fax it to him via magic yeah pretty much yeah <laughs> uh and i'll just like just yeah just like scan over it and it'll just like like fizzle mm -hmm. uh in my hand and it'll just be sent to them um do you make any efforts like hide those symbols from me oh no no in any way i can see them um upon like seeing these symbols yeah. written out um I'm gonna jump up and be like, those I, I could have swore I read about. Well, maybe not these exact symbols, but I, I did, I did read do about. Do you have a um, do you have a thing for this? I don't have a specific like ability, um, except preparedness. If there is a tome we could use to translate these symbols, maybe I could use that ability. Sure. Um, um with, with a with a sharp roll. Ask Go ahead and roll. Is there a rule required for that, um, Becky, or no? Yeah, I'll read it out. Um, when mm -hmm. you need something unusual or rare, roll plus sharp. On a 10 plus, you have it right here, right now. On a 7 to 9, you have it, but not here. It'll take some time to get it. On a miss, you know where it is, but it's somewhere real bad. Could that something unusual be like a literal like book of symbols that would tell us what this is? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Like, Go ahead and roll that sharp check, and what did you roll? Uh, I that? got a i got a nine plus one so a ten ten and um, on a ten plus with dealing with the agency it says on a ten plus you're good your request for gear or personnel or help is okayed mm -hmm. or your or your slip up if there was one goes unnoticed mm -hmm. yeah yeah uh yeah so the these symbols are old um what i can tell is the like um ninth Ninth century, um, ninth century uh, Catholic. It's uses a ward off. Hmm. A ward. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, um, Becky, what'd you roll? I rolled a five plus two for a seven. But I think upon hearing him say a ward, could I spend a luck point to know or like have yeah. the resources to tell us what they were warding off? 
if you would like to, you have access to that book. You have a little um, uh, wards for dummies, like pamphlet. <laughs> wards for dummies. Yeah, it's it's like um, a, a lot of the four dummies. A lot I of the four dummies it. books are textbook size, and this one yes. is just like a pocket guide. Yes. Yeah, yes. so yes. I got to like unfold it several I'm different times, <laughs> looking at it like a map. Um, um, so yeah, I'm gonna spend that luck. One second, Logan. What are you saying? I'm sorry. No, no, you're fine. I just had to come back from dealing with the kids that got out of bed. Mm -hmm. So, oh, no uh, worries. We're out of the house right now. So okay, mm -hmm. we're out of the house. What am I roll? Are we rolling stuff? Uh, I Becky is. And, yeah. Uh, okay. Sorry. That, that was yeah. it. We, we found, found a sigil. Symbols. We found a sigil. We I sent it into my agency. Becky is cross referencing it with a literal pocket book of of <laughs> symbols. Yeah, I dig into my mailbag and pull out this, yeah. this pamphlet. I love this bag. This is just <laughs> so good. <laughs> um, opening it up and looking through it. Um, it is a warding symbol, however, it is not meant to deal with warding off, like, um, spirits. It's warded, it's specifically meant to ward off entities. Um, mm -hmm. this is very, it's one commonly used, um, ones in, um, Eastern, um, Eastern Europe and mm -hmm. Russia. Mm -hmm. This might be cheesy. I might have to do another roll for this. Mm -hmm. But on that... 12 which comes out to a 14 with my shark right. mm -hmm. would i know any examples of like russian monsters um yeti um uh child uh children of the frost um which are basically you think of like the ice switch from narnia they're mm -hmm. that level of powerful and scary um baba um, yaga is one of baba the... yaga also yeah. is another one um there one. are all not just baba yaga but there's also all different kinds of hags um, a lot. Um, Krumpus is also another one that it could be. Um, it's a little early for Krumpus to be making his rounds. I was but, about um... to say it's <laughs> this. It, it's specifically targeting. Maybe he's got an intern and he's got a target. You know, targeted a child in right now. Like... <laughs> Is it anything that is an absolute like, anything that's terror. Specifically okay, we gotta take him out like... right now. <laughs> <laughs> A child that broke the rules nonetheless because he had a curfew. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, yeah. He was breaking curfew. Oh, boy. I know the worst kind of parents having a curfew. Yeah. <laughs> hey, back then, the curfew was like, hey, streetlights are on. Get your butt here, bud. Yeah. yeah I, uh, and, the, uh, and, at, and the time of this attack was like the streetlights were already... <laughs> Yeah, well, also, in Washington in winter, it gets dark at, like, 4 p.m. So like, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, darkness, my old friend. Yeah, pretty what? much. It's 4 p.m. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so but also, I to, share this. To your point, there's also, there's multiple forms of any types of these creatures. There's several different variants of Barbara Yaga. There's several variants of Child of yeah. the Frost. Like, it's hard to tell. Could be anything. The last thing I say to the agency in my earpiece, the last thing I say to Enron in my earpiece is try to send me everything you have on, try to send me everything you have on Yetis and and Children of the and see if you have any updated records of Children of did, the Frost. We'll be right back. Did we ever learn like how the grandma died? It was not brought up. Mm. Oh, maybe that could be a clue or something like that. Uh, you could you could ask the detective the uh, detective, detective how false stuff or what detective I don't know how to detective read. Carter deputy De Carter but yes deputy Carter yeah DC uh, uh, DC do you could you find out exactly how the grandma uh, passed oh no I I know how she passed it heart attack hmm. Did she seem I mean, like she was possible towards a heart attack? Like she having health she, problem? Yeah, she she was seventy. Um, she oh, had been a smoker yeah. all her life, and so her, she was a smoker all of her life. And oh, I mean, she did escape Russia, so you know. Yeah, I'm surprised it's cigarettes though, and not vodka. Well, it's both, but I'm trying to no, be polite. Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so from here, it sounds like we can either go like walk the path the boy walked like back to the store or we could try to look where the other child went missing does it seem mm -hmm. like there are any other 
places? Mm. From what my, you guys have at the moment, no. Yeah, um, my best guess, my best, oh, I feel like our best option is just going to be retracing the steps of the, re, retracing the path. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know, you, you, Deputy Carter, you know where this this boy's friend, la, like friends lived through your, like, Oh yeah. Records, right. You just yeah. where was that? Where you just show us the last intersection and we'll can we'll do a canvas of that area. Um he he steps out of his car and basically points down to a lamppost that is a T section um mm -hmm. of it's it's a slight slanted T, but basically we, we can see it from the front door of the house. Well, you have to get out of the property line, but yeah. Right, right, right. That's right. close. Okay. I thought it was gonna be like yeah. a mile. It, or two. Well, it is a couple miles away, but because this part of Washington's so flat, you yeah. can see where the lamppost is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so that lamppost in the distance mm -hmm. to here. <laughs> All yeah. right. Well. Um, cool. I will say this to speed things up. Um, you can make checks, but they're not going to be very successful because typically there has to be two or three instances where you battle the monster or where the monster does its thing. Um, yeah. Because it is getting close to time when you guys want to do the sleeping thing. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, I'll say that flavorfully, we would do a canvas. I would maybe try to read a bad situation. We could stake uh, out the area. For, for the, for specifically for the are there any dangers we haven't noticed? Uh, you can ro roll a check for anything that might be suspicious or like a vibe check if you'd like. If everyone would like to roll a um, yeah. just a um, a brain check. Hold on, what's my what's it called? Oh, hey, um, oh, thank you for the raid. What do we get? What do we get? Well, we got a raid with the 13 Thank you for the raid. Thank Welcome. You for the raid. This is, Holy crap. This is a charity Hi. event. Uh, come hang out or come sit around, hang out. We're playing Monster of the Week. Uh, it's a fantastic time. Uh, Use the donate. Still, I'm gonna yeah, post the donation yeah, like early. Link in the donation. <laughs> Thank you, Chaos Raid. Uh, love you all so much. Thank you. Use uh, the link in the chat and in the top of the description. If you info feel box. so generous, we are doing a charity, yeah, stream right now for Extra Life. We are trying to raise that money for them. If you feel so inclined, inclined. please donate. Uh, leave your name in the donation because at the very end of this, we'll have a raffle for a winner to get a dice tray. Uh, our dice box from Hexwood's game or Hexwood Games. Woo! So, so please yeah. go to the Yay. link, the link in the chat that I just put, or the link in the. Uh, I'll do it again just in case. Yeah. The, the link in the chat that I just put, or the link at the top of the info box in the mm -hmm. stream, and you'll go straight to the donation page to help us out. Yes, the one that says Extra Life. Thank yes. you so much. Uh, but please sit around, enjoy. Moving on. Bye bye. Yes. Uh, so. <laughs> Um, would you guys like to stake out the area and for the night, um, or do you just want to yeah, linger I've got, in this area? Yeah, I've got a heated inside. I would take, <laughs> yeah, I would, I would take my, I would have my van uh, at the lamppost. Mm -hmm. uh, looking like down the way or just like doing the general like scope out, obviously, but uh, focusing down the way just in case it retraces its steps and uh yeah that's what i'll be doing can i have like a tarp to put over my car but it has like the ability i know i'm poor okay but i'm wanting to do something I... cool magic wise where it's like lucky you i can, can have... see through the tarp you want a one-sided tarp yes yeah, <laughs> so i want a one-sided yeah. tarp a one-way tarp a one -way yeah, like a one-sided mirror uh, thank but... you bright swords for the posture check oh Oh, thank you. I am absolutely slouching. I am terribly sorry. <laughs> uh, How dare you? Would Falstaff have anything like that in his van? No. Damn. Don't, don't, go I, any <laughs> just don't know of any what? Because don't know of any stakeouts. Yeah. Ah, yeah, People that's fair. That's fair. Order, but, you know. In the tarp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a ghost costume. Tarp. Eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look out. Not. Not quite. Um, pivot. <laughs> pivot. Would I just have a regular tarp? No. Okay. Uh, I mean, fine. you might have a regular tarp, but there's also that convenience store two miles down the road you could just go to the little yeah. arcade <laughs> that might have tarps. Yeah. <laughs> um, and jerky. Well, I rolled a 10 um, for whatever check I end up doing. Okay. Um, this was to detect a bad situation or like 
I yeah, I would do I would do read a bad situation. Are there any dangers we haven't noticed? Uh not at the moment, no. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Um sometimes a no is a perfect answer. Yeah. Okay. Um I'm not gonna spend the night like looking out. Instead, I'm gonna I imagine in, in Falstaff's van, even though it's less cozy, it feels safer. Um, the front seat's still cushy, you know, like it's just the back that has no. Less, I'm fully yeah. sitting in the back, books <laughs> spread out, pens going. I'm I'm ambidextrous, so both are just writing stuff or flipping pages. So is it Plenty just me and Logan just looking at each other in the other van? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Reaching um, out, <laughs> what be a Logan? And um, you know, when I'm not sleeping, I'm gonna spend the night trying to narrow down um which of the russian monsters we brainstormed which of them could be powerful enough to cause mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. um okay. or i can ask one of the questions from the list if that's I will, I will say you're just brainstorming and like making a pros and cons list of which one it might be um trying to like okay. narrow it down a little bit more yeah okay just roll a sharp check and see um uh nine nine um I mean, Children of the Frost have become much more civilized, by, is the best way to describe it. Mm -hmm. um, they're basically children of frost giants, by the most part, or actual like, descendants of the entity known as Jack Frost. Mm -hmm. um, but the last one that went crazy like caused some serious blizzards in certain countries, but didn't hurt anybody. Not really, other than like snow people. And they're more pranksters or like chaotic people, but they it's rare for one to like go up and grab someone and like turn them into solid ice like you would see in like um the language in the wardrobe with the ice the ice queen. There have been some cases of like like the one that C.S. Lewis referenced in his stories, um, but not any that were violent since then. Okay. So I think it's safe to eliminate the frost children from potential enemies. Yes. Yetis they typically aren't known to have a, like ability to freeze or cause frost everywhere they go, but okay. it's definitely not unheard of. Baba Yaga and Hags, there's so many variants and so many things it could be. Um, for ice Hags are really rare in this part of the world. Yeah, you're close to you know like Asia and Russia, but rarely would they be able to get over here safely, especially now that a lot of the um ash the other planes of existence are traveling through them is heavily guarded. Um, so if it came okay. here, either it was born here or it got really lucky getting it over borders or boats without getting caught. Okay. But, um, who um, has the highest sharp that would be paying attention uh, between um, Falstaff, Luck, and Logan? Would you believe me I if I said one. yes? I have, I have a plus one. Okay. I have um, a... Luck, I, I'm going to say this right now. You are not mentally strong enough for long nights. You are out in your truck. You are out in your van. Just. <laughs> 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 um, Logan, you're staying up, just kind of keeping an eye on this place. Also, you are as well, Fall Staff. Mm -hmm. um, and at around 7.30, you see um, two kids um, biking... Um, in the path that was coming, basically you're at the, the T, and they're coming from this way back towards the road where um, the kid was kidnapped. Mm. Um, and they are biking. Um, what, they they kind of look at each other, say farewell, and they have a small conversation. Um, one goes down one of the roads that's about maybe 300 feet away from the lamppost that you're at, and the next one is maybe about like a mile. Um, that you can you know where it is, but you can't see it because it's so dark and it's raining. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, one of them what they looked at you guys specifically in your cars, said a few things. One of them laughed. Um, you also saw one of the kids kind of like grab a rock, like they're about to throw it at one of your cars because there are two unmarked vans in the middle of nowhere. Excuse me, my car, it, my van is marked. Oh right, right, right. But they're not gonna walk over towards it. <laughs> Wait, you you parked your van right next to mine? <laughs> you no, I parked my van first. You said that yours sense. was next to it. What? Oh god. Uh, 
one of the kids is about to throw a rock at it, and the other one stops them and says, like, you, there's an argument that's happened. They go their own ways. Um, so these are his friends. It's safe to assume they safe would to be assume. his friends. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, I need everyone to roll me a weird check to see if they can detect magical stuff happening. Got it. Ooh. Good luck. I have a zero oh, weird. Yes, that's a 12. Hey. Oh, wow, nice. Plus my weird. Oh, there's I have nine. a zero weird, so I got a nine. Nine, okay. I got a five. I'm five? really okay. into my reading. <laughs> that is unfortunate. <laughs> On a side note, before whatever detection or not happens, uh, Logan was definitely planning on using, like, essentially Mage Hand to put a stick between the stabokes of one of the kids' tires that was going to throw the rock. <laughs> you are the magical effect. <laughs> um, Just I, like, I got a five. <laughs> well, you were out cold, so that makes throwing. sense. Yes. <laughs> oh. um, uh, both, make sure you both mark experience for those of you that rolled a five. Okay. Um, <laughs> Oh, am I supposed to mark experience? Okay. When anytime you roll less than a fo- a seven and you don't use a luck point, you can start add an experience yeah. point because it means I get to do something dangerous. So I should stupid. have like two then because I failed. I know I failed. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you poor unfortunate soul. Hey, it just means I get to level up first. Okay. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. If you live that long. Yeah. If um, I... <laughs> right. No kidding. Oh boy. Um. Hey. But, I'm luck for a reason. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, Logan, as you're sitting there, just kind of fiddling with um, just whatever in the car that's in Lux in Lux van, um, you notice immediately that your the air around the car um, gets colder, and also a thin layer of frost covers the windows, um, and you notice that it's getting denser and denser. You have two options. One, you can try to open the door before it becomes too frozen over that you can't escape. Or you can try to wake up luck to turn on the car to get it moving. You can't see what's around you, but something is seems to be aware of what you're doing. I have sight. Even if I use the sight, I don't see anything. If you want to use the sight, that's your third option. If you'd rather use sight to kind of see what's going on. Like you have like six seconds basically to decide Uh. what you're going to do. If okay, then let me know if this is allowed or not. Can I just okay. shout Buck's name while using the site? Well, <laughs> it might not. It, it I'm might. Trying, I, you know, I'm not I, actually I, trying to wake him up. That's why I'm asking. I will. I would say yes if two of your friends did not fail. So I get to make a hard move. I'm giving you a that's fair. choice right now. That's fair. No, that's totally fair. Uh, so it's probably a panic reaction. It's probably mm. just. A, so what is my nine? Do? Oh, God, we're, we're getting there, Mr. Sassy. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. okay. Um, probably, probably with a panic reaction and with the premonition that I had earlier about cold stuff. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with waking up luck. Okay. Okay. He's going to roll over um, and be like, what the, what's up? Um, as you wake him up. We need to move now. We need to move right now. No, 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 no. Okay, no. start um, the car, push that button, and go. And I'm going to use my uh, let's get out of here and uh, protect somebody <laughs> by telling them what to do or by leading them out and roll a charm plus or instead a tough plus or plus tough. So. How dare you use that so brilliantly? You. <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> you made the oh right choice, God. sir. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, uh, false staff. Mm-hmm. Um, by the time you're aware of what's going on, you have either the option of trying to turn on your car or just opening the window because you the frost is happening, but you were kind of either just looking like on your dashboard or trying to turn the channel and you look up and it looks like basically a heavy rainfall and then it just froze over. Mm-hmm. You're not quite sure if you're able to open the door, but oh, you can try. Uh, I'll try to even start your car. I will. Uh, hmm, wow. Okay. I will like out loud in the middle of doing this. I'll just be like, "Oh boy, big trouble, big trouble!" And I'll just like, uh, yeah, I'll try to force open the door. All right, go ahead and try to um, kick some a double asterisk. <laughs> oh, we can I say have plus but. one. We can say I but. <laughs> <laughs> But, <laughs> but, 
<laughs> Kick All some right. booty. Uh, yeah, I get. I got a, a nine plus one, so uh, that's a ten. Tough. Okay, you're able to break and open the door. Um, and I'm going to. Well, did you have your seatbelt on? Is the question. <laughs> Uh, no, because okay. the car wasn't moving, so, yeah. You're able to open the door and step out. Um, and and yeah, I'll, it, like... <laughs> it has dropped immensely. The temperature, maybe it was at, like, 35 with freezing rain. It is now maybe zero degrees. Like Laser Fahrenheit. is immediately going back on. <laughs> um, <Bull -eyed. laughs> um, Luck, did you roll Charm Person to try and... Um, oh, yes. You got to you do your thing. <laughs> well, I didn't know if I rolled or if I just gave him my extra two for his thing or whatever. I don't nah, know. You roll it. It's your ability to be charismatic. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, I have a plus two, so nine. Nine. Uh, what does it say at a, at a nine or, or I don't seven? know. That's in the other thing, isn't it? No. Okay, wait. Hold up. Give me a second. It's specifically yeah, for the just... move. A nine of um, what? Manipulate someone? Uh, it just says, uh, let's get out of here. You can protect somebody by telling them what to do or by leading them out. Roll plus charm instead of tough. So okay. I get to roll charm instead of tough to get out of the situation. All right. So the option is they'll do it, but only can do something for them right now and show you that they mean it. Um, so you basically have to try to convince Logan why he should listen to you as you're like, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> like, do that 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 and give me that <laughs> yeah you have to convince him why he should believe you so a nine is what i got on you logan yeah. does nine convince you to listen to me the man who owns this vehicle <laughs> <laughs> and is also a magician and <laughs> a street magician who is following the dream to be a man the on next the stage. Houdini? yes the next uh mm -hmm. houdini I've heard about this really like experienced person named Chris Angel in Las Vegas. Dude <laughs> sucks. All right, like I don't think he even <laughs> like get his own TV show. I wouldn't yeah. trust him. <laughs> Everybody knows he's just he's just using his already ingrained divine powers. Yeah. How is he gonna get a bunch of mortals to believe him? <laughs> Chris Angel, mind freak. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Get, uh, would you get a little I, too I seem pretty convinced. I don't know. Great super knowledge. <laughs> it's a nine. So, so how it works is that you're supposed to um, show them right now that you beat it. So basically, you'd have to start it and then they would continue with it. Mm -hmm. um, luck. Yes. Um. <sighs> So yeah, he gets up and like turns on the car and then tells you to steer us. He'll push the brakes and the gas. Mm -hmm. um, so that that does work. You are able to move out of the way, but as you look, Cluck, you can't see out the windshield at all. <laughs> it's a little it's a little frozen over. And you don't uh, know if your heating system's that good. <laughs> I am going to look at this and be like, oh, crap. Uh, and just go <gasps> and. <laughs> Use magic to disperse the frost. Okay, go ahead and try and roll some weird. Okay. Is it wrong that I really want this to fail? <laughs> like, unbelievably, I want this to fail. <laughs> I got a 10, baby. I, got, oh, I rolled a fun. 9 plus 1. <laughs> that's not fun at all. <laughs> oh. Oh, um, boy. What? So, the frost immediately disperses and... As you start the car, you notice that you do see some sort of creature looming towards the direction of the kid that was trying to throw a rock at your vehicles. Oh. You can't see what it is from this distance, but it is zooming that direction. Uh, I can I use magic to do something to it? Like, I mean, you can certainly try. Um, just what does that entail? Trying to uh. I, I'm thinking like like an increased pressure, kind of like a just like a knock it straight to the ground, like pressure blast kind of a thing. Sure, With go ahead my, and try roll some weird. As he's doing that, can I Ooh, use wait, my wait, wait. charm? I have a. I think I have a thing. Hold on. <laughs> Is he even a thing? Um, Falstaff, um, 
I would say at this point you also see it because the car went and it stops after the frost seems to have disappeared off it. And you oh. look to see what they're looking at. And there's some sort of thingamajig going towards the wind. This... What do I <laughs> describe a monster? Some sort of woobly woo. <laughs> woobly woo and spiddle doo. <laughs> Maybe Scooby just... and the gang will figure out what it is. You all don't know. I'm it's just like, like it's I'm like showing stuck up with between... these long fingers, but it's like. <laughs> My, my mind my mind is basically flipping a coin right now of whether I need to like whether I need to put this entity down with one of my weapons or if I need to uh, or if I oh god what is it if I need to put this entity down with one of my weapons or if I need to warn the person first or if I should like what's the word oh gosh try and help the kid or yeah whether I need to help the whether help the helping the kid first or subduing the entity first, uh, and I'm just like, okay, I'm not taking the dice. And that would be either protect someone or kick some a. Um, so, I just have a question, because uh, yes. the other the other ability I have is literally called the big whammy. Uh, <laughs> the big strong kid. name, strong name. Uh, uh, you use your powers to kick some A, roll weird instead of tough. The attack has a plus two harm. Mm -hmm. Close, obvious, ignore armor. I don't know if I count as close right now or not. No, it is about 400. Um, it's, it's, it's about to get out of your eyesight. Basically, you either have the option to get out of the car and try to chase after it or try to attack it now because it's um, going to lose line of sight. All right, so I, my can I... So I'll just go with a straight weird then. Okay. That being right. said... Mm -hmm. um, I'm just gonna. I don't know if you can see it. That's a five and a six. Oh, <laughs> yay! Nice. All right. So, um, you're doing just a weird check to try to strike it. So, I um, will use what, my tough to like, kick like, some A to strike it with my submachine gun. Um, walk as uh, Logan just like bats his hand down like that. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I'm going for like a in the distance kind of air pressure to do this exact same motion. Excellent. Can can I? May May I do something a little interesting for flavor? Sure. I like flavor. Sure. Um, Logan, as you do this with your hand, um, all of those I can see it, and the little bit of light that is coming off of the lamppost from you guys, you see this large spectral, almost skeleton-like hand actually go down and bat this thing, and you see it bounce and then hit itself back up as your hand is keeping it down. You guys technically have one more round of combat okay. before the hand will disperse. I you did will, do some harm to it. I, it seems to be aware. I, mm -hmm. I would like to use my what could go wrong okay. and act under <laughs> an act. And I get mm -hmm. to choose, uh, I get to hold like two, uh, well, I guess one. Uh, I would like to do my inflict harm. I'm going to kick open the back door uh, okay. and not just be like, Hey, Logan, check this out. I'm going to pull a rabbit out of my hat and go bippity boppity boom. And I'm going to fire a gun through my hat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go and ahead and, and roll all you guys hear, all you hear is. <laughs> hey! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I. <laughs> In response to the literal gunfire. Can I wake oh. up? Can I join this combat, please? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I yeah, I yelled out in the front of my van, towards the back of my van, yeah. big trouble, big trouble, and kicked yeah. open the door. You are feeling a draft of cold, like. This mm -hmm. is all happening in succession. Basically, he's going to make the attack, and then Dippy is going to do his thing, and then you are, and then the creature is going to do whatever it's going to do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Okay. Was that good or bad? It was a good one. It's a good it one. A good it's one? a good one. I got a six and a three, so I got a nine plus one, so that's a ten. And how much damage do you? Uh, right, I technically so... do three because it's a handgun with a two, and then I have a plus one to it. Right. So gun damage, the weapons damage, just stays the same. Um, oh, the plus one is to the thing. But so plus one roll, is to not the, the damage. Chat, the roll, uh, yes, right. but I inflict a plus one harm. Because of my uh, what could that's go right. wrong? The, yeah, yeah, that's what. That, okay, so three points of damage. It does not do as much damage as you think it would, Ooh. but it does seem to harm it some way. Mm. Um, and you notice that as it hits, um, what you see, luck, is an eye look at you, and it seems to kind of glint in a certain way. Um, and right now, you 
something happened. You're not quite sure. Am I feeling kind of sexy? I'm... <laughs> uh, you're, you're feeling a little like stun frozen in place. Okay. Uh, All right. I have. That is the end of your turn, though. Dippy, okay. uh, fall staff. Go ahead and. Uh... I have a submachine gun and a shotgun. At this range, a shotgun would not be as effective as a submachine gun. I will use gun. a submachine gun okay. to kick some butt. As a friendly reminder, though, you are aiming in the direction a child was going recently. I am also... I... I the, 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 I'm just saying. So and I don't, you are, are correct. On the so I don't You're have a submachine gun sound, but I do have two shotguns. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> and then Luck here's the monster. Luck got very lucky. I'm going to say this because they rolled a twelve, a, a plus ten, basically to hit. Mm -hmm. The creature is now prone at the moment. It's about to be unprone. Yeah, I will be taking advantage of that if I can. Okay. Yeah. Like, do we be careful? Do we roll ranged weapons with disadvantage? <laughs> He's prone. <laughs> is that how no. this works? No. Oh, okay, please. Cool. <laughs> God no. Because this is already no. hard enough. <laughs> All right. Get good at rolling dice, Donald. This oh. would be an issue. <laughs> Six and a four plus one, eleven. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that is so my submachine gun is three harm. Uh, close area. Loud reload. Yeah, it is pretty loud. Yeah. You do hit a few shots off. So now four shots. Out, basically, so you did a as I pull three. this out, as I pull this out, late nineties. It's an MP5, and I <laughs> and I just like have like ten left in the ten left in the banana mag for it, and it's just like all ten go in the direction of this monster. I imagine mm -hmm. this ammo is somewhat tempered for like entities rather than humans. You would hope. Yeah, I would hope. That's my hope, at least. Mm -hmm. And uh. How's that in for that some fighting moment, music right in there? In that moment, uh, on a 10 plus, I gain the effect of it's either, uh, I can do either plus one harm, I suffer less harm, force them where you want them, force them where you want them, or I gain advantage of taking a forward or giving a forward to a hunter. I... Not not noticing the terrible like, or not terrible, but the performance mm -hmm. that Dono's that Lux gun did. I'll just try to inflict terrible harm. So I okay. will do four close area loud reload okay. with the submachine right. to this thing. It does not do as much damage as you thought it would do. It did seem to take some form of damage, mm -hmm. but as its reaction, it is actually going to somehow vanish from underneath the hand that disappears. Uh, Becky, it is your turn. It seems to have vanished for the moment. Becky's getting her round, but it's going to be the same again, depending on what Becky does. Um. Uh, it vanished. That very much changes what I was going to do. Um, I have an ability called I've read about this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. it, it means that I can roll plus sharp instead of plus cool when I'm acting under pressure. Okay. Um. We're oh. under pressure. I've been narrowing down um, what type of monster this is. And mm -hmm. now two times this monster has gone for a child that's broken the rules. Can I act under pressure and pin down what this is with my uh, turn? Go for it. This is Santa this Claus. Is awesome. Thank you. It is literally just free like, music stuff. I can change it up okay. if I want to. Uh, I rolled an eight plus two for 10. This is some sort of hag or some form of Baba Yaga. I can't narrow it down further than that. The problem with Baba Yaga is that there's many different variants. Some say that she is an ancient hag that um, condemns naughty children. There are some say that she's a cannibal that, that um, will feast on naughty children to give herself more spite in her life. Um, it is some form of Baba Yaga, but there's no real way to confirm slash kill a Baba Yaga is the problem. Okay, that's, that you're that's aware of. what I needed. Um, mm -hmm. So I... I, I, like, say that. I don't think there's a way to kill it. We just have to get the kids out of here. And that's what I do with my turn. Okay. Um, Logan, you're going to go next. Um, as the creature um, pops up next to um, Falstaff. It hasn't attacked yet, but you get to do something real quick. 
I just like immediately into the headset. I'm like, we got a code blue, code blue. <laughs> just to anyone who can hear me through the headset. I'll explain what it looks like in a few moments as this is going to get very interesting very fast. And I just like, code blue, code blue, drop submachine gun, reach into holster, pull out and pull out like sidearm. And then I hear Becky say, there's no way to hurt it. You just have to save the kid. And I'm just like, it is Logan's turn as you're dropping a submachine gun. I'll say that. Right yeah. Now. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> of course. Is it close now? It is close enough to, if you want to run up to it, you could probably try to boop its navel. Oh, it area. came to me. It came it's, to me. It, it, it's close enough to kiss if you really want to um, jump up and try to get a hug. We could, Logan, if you wanted to, because the kid's right there, we could instead, if while she's going for uh, Falstaff, go for the kid, like sweep him up, because I'm in the back and stuff. I could, because I just kicked out the door. Oh, that's right. I'm in the driver's seat still, aren't I? Yeah, you are. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Road in reverse. Also, I would have probably have told you. It's like I don't think that hit as hard as I wanted it to. <laughs> yeah. Let's um. Well, oh, shoot. Yeah, let's get the kid then. Huh. Okay. Sorry, Falstaff. Yeah, I'm gonna Did run you just swear, my good man? <laughs> he said, "Sorry, Falstaff." Oh, okay, my bad. I thought you said the F word. <laughs> I'm thinking it. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> um. All right. So as you're running, the creature turns to see that both of you going. Um, false stuff. I'm going to give you two options. Mm -hmm. One, you can drop the submachine gun and try to pull out your hand mm -hmm. cannon and fire it, trying to get attention away from the two people going towards this creature's prey. Mm -hmm. Or um, you can try to also just cut this thing off or try to grapple it. Um, I see if that would work. In the direction I was already going, I was gonna do the the handgun, and mm -hmm. like I was reaching for the handgun, and then I heard what Becky said, just like, "Can't hurt it. Just draw. Just save the kids." And then I see them throw it in reverse, mm -hmm. and I and that's like a look over and a look back, and I'm just like, handgun out and just like put it right up between its eyes, knowing it's not going to do anything necessarily, mm -hmm. but I'm just like intimidation tactic, keeping it on me mm -hmm. of just like, you're not going anywhere. And I just like, I don't know how you want to rule that in terms of our rule. Go ahead and um, roll to kick some um, um, tailbone bat. Oh, I can't bat covering, I should say. There we go, there we go, there we go. All right, what am I rolling? Uh, to kick some, um, kick some booty. To kick some booty. Mm -hmm. All righty. Here we go. Oh, wow. Uh, five plus four plus one tough. Ten. Ten. You're able to shoot it and... And the handgun, the 38 revolver, is two harm. Close reload, wow. All right, I am going to send a picture to Dono, if you'd be willing to share this with the um, uh, with the with the chat to see what this creature kind of looks like. Yeah. That's not the right one. Hang on. Um. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh god. Oh no. Oh, where is it? Where, where? Send That's me the, the right thing, my good man. I'm sending, oh sh. Send to the. Oh sheesh. Oh gosh. What oh, did they go my. to? The head does snap back, um, and it is going to take a swing at you. Um, oh, oh gosh. goodness. Okay, so... I will use my Wait 10 to to suffer less harm, then. Can you do that? Yeah, that's what it says on the 10 plus for nice. kicking butt. All right, so you only take two points of harm. Ah! All right, and that's on my harm? One, two. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Mm -hmm. This is a close representation. I couldn't get an exact photo that I liked, unfortunately. There you go. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. So that's what it looks like. Oh no. Ooh. It's nasty. All right. Yeah. Uh, 
can I, I as he shoots? Oh, can I use my, uh, I really want to use my ability, but give it to him. The, uh, what could go wrong? Because I'm charging into danger. Can I give him a plus one to his inflicted harm? Unfortunately, you're not close enough to that. You're currently running away from the situation he is. Well, we're yeah. going towards the kid. Yeah. Is that away from the situation? It is away from him currently. He's still yeah, at yeah, the yeah, yeah. You guys are already, like, across the road and you're getting towards okay. where the kid was. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Um, I'm going to say this right now. Luck and Logan, are you guys trying to... Um, we're going to kidnap um, the child. You're going to um, go to shake toward the child. You're not going to turn around and try to help um, Falstaff and Becky? Uh, I let Logan know that that shot didn't do as much damage as I wanted it to. Mm -hmm. And so it's like... Uh, and I believe, Logan, you made the decision. Okay, let's go get the kid then. <laughs> you know? And correct me if I'm wrong. I want to change it to something like that's got. Yeah. <laughs> it's still very I'm... good, though. I am just vibing. It's got that 90 synth. Oh, dude. Hold up. No, oh, this is pretty good for what? Oh. Give it a second. Doom, 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 is it my doom, turn next doom, or the doom, doom, monster's turn? Um, monster doesn't have a turn, it just responds to you guys. Oh, um, okay. So as they're zooming, you will make contact to the kid who is ducked and covered, and you notice that their bike is in a similar state as the other one that you would see. Um, and I'll say you guys get to there, and the kid's like, who are you guys? Like, what is going on? Another um, badger? What the heck is up with this thing? <laughs> yeah. Which is the brand of um, bike. <laughs> Uh, Becky, um, you saw this creature kind of take out this long, unnaturally um, bony, jagged hand and swipe at Paul Staff, which actually threw him back into the vehicle, into yep. his vehicle. Um, <laughs> oh! Yeah, you definitely dented um, your bumper and just the front of your car a little bit, because that really hurt. <laughs> it's GI, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> It is your turn, Becky. What would you like to do? Okay. Um, is it a free action to communicate, or would I have to like spend my turn trying to? Communicate? No, 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 no. It is a bonus action to chit chat. Obviously, you can't go. So, how's the weather going? Oh, it's going fine, Stephen. Excellent. Like, you can say a thing if you'd like to. Cool. Okay. So, I'm gonna climb up to the the passenger seat. Um, mm -hmm. Instead of flipping open a book of CDs, I flip open my stamp collection and mm -hmm. several oh. spectral stamps rise from the pages, swirl around my head and shoot at the monster. Mechanical translation. I'm using a juju bag, which does one harm uh, okay. of magic. Oh. Okay. Um, um, unfortunately, the magical stamps will go clean through the front window. <laughs> Fine. It's oh, fine. It's GI. the open door. Oh, you're going to the Oh, well, that's less entertaining. Um. Okay, we can shatter the windshield. It's, sound, it's cool. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Dang it, I um, thought we were going to save some part of this car. <laughs> no, man, it's all the wizard's car. Okay? okay. Uh. Um. It goes through it. And it, goes, it is, you know, they are stamps. So it does go through very thin but it does seem to make actual contact with this creature. And um, in response, it is actually going to zoom towards you, Becky, and it is going to touch you with its finger. Oh. I need you Inside to me. the car? Yeah, okay. it goes, it basically, it moves over towards your side of the car and the car door. Oh yeah. Um, just, it doesn't like rip it off. The door turns into snow. Um, and this okay. creature, like you see in the image, the difference is that instead of the pinks and the purples, which look really cool, it's blues and snow whites. Um, and you see these eyes. You know that TikToker that has that large bone, like, monster that they have? That they, like, will play as a giant puppet? Maybe I'm just showing my age on TikTok. Donald, oh, you know yeah, I, I think I remember, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, their eyes are black voids with little not ambers, but little snowflakes of just pooling blue. Um, it is wearing a face covering, but one of its large bony fingers does touch you square on the forehead. I need you to rule me a weird check. A weird check. Oh, no. Oh, I rolled a six and a five, so that's an 11. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh yeah. 
Okay, good. You can identify um, what's going on to you. <laughs> a sharp chill in body, and you a harm. Um, but one you are person. not. Yes, just the one, not several. You are not disintegrated <laughs> today. Um, <laughs> and then with like the the communication on my action, I'm gonna turn to Falstaff, probably grab his like very colorful, stylish tie, and be like, "We gotta get to the house. They have sigils that can protect against this thing." <laughs> <laughs> and that'll uh, be my turn. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, Falstaff, it is currently your action. You are currently being grabbed by the tie as your broken windshield. It, it basically just fell apart behind you, and she grabbed you through the window. <laughs> oh my god. I will. Uh... Here's a. This may probably have to be a weird. Do I still have a copy of the sigil that I faxed? Um, if you'd like to call it in, you can see if they can send um, that to you. You have a card that has the sig- he, sigil. No, this card, the card fizzled when it got faxed. Oh. Yeah. But I would like to try to call that back if I can. All right. Um, go ahead and roll active refresh to see if you can. You told us that those were that. question. You told us that those were like protection uh, sigils, right? Yeah. Um, okay. Falstaff and myself, we like figured it out. Act under talking. pressure. Oh my! Uh, let me check. Uh. Oh no. That's real. I will say this: in case anyone's wondering how the logic of my world works, because of the um, of the organization that Falstaff works for. All of their electronics, like earpiece things like that, they're not run off electricity. It's actually magical energy, which is not affected by the monster. Yep. Oh, very cool. Yep. I got a six and a one, which is a seven, but I have a plus three to cool, so I get a ten. A ten? Which means oh. I do what I set out to do. You are able to respond that. It's not going to get here this turn. Oh, but no. But the guy's like, yeah, um... Do, what do you say specifically so the guy can respond accordingly? I need that sigil back, like now. It's in a code blue, code blue. <laughs> we we know it's a we know that it's a Baba Yaga. Oh, Baba Yaga. Okay, I'll I'll sit, see what I can send you, and you'll get that next turn. Hurry! The <laughs> walks over and I'll just you. like and I'll just like floor it, oh. and I just like trying to run back to the house. Okay. Uh, the creature sees you turning to run. It is going to try to... It turns its hand towards you, and you see it almost like a Dragon Ball Z single little sliver of energy shoot towards where um, Falstaff is. Um, Falstaff, you take a harm as you feel an icicle basically stab through your left thigh. It goes clean through. It sticks into the ground. Oh! Ah! My good man! <laughs> the um, tragedy! <laughs> meanwhile... He's um, like screaming silently because it's so <laughs> uh, To be fair, your leg feels entirely numb. You don't feel a thing right now. Yeah. As your that part of your leg that is surrounding the, the ice is frostbitten. Yeah. The entire um, thigh just gets black. I'm like, no! Oh, <laughs> um, so yeah, Again, Luck and Logan. Logan. Luck, I've been impaled. Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you look at that. I've been impaled. Um, the kid's like, what, what are you guys doing? Like, what are the gunshots? Who are you? The good, uh, I was about to say the good guys, but I don't really know right now. Can you, <laughs> can you just participate and make sure that you don't get, not, don't have to deal with any bad stuff? Because, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Do you have any skills to assist with your ramblings, Mr. Luck? Yes, I have charm, my good man. I have a plus uh, two to charm. <laughs> if you want to try to manipulate someone, go for it. Logan, are you going to try to assist in any way, or are you keeping an eye on the road? I'm gonna. I'm gonna use a weird. Yeah, actually, I was thinking of um, adding protection to the vehicle. Uh, I was looking at the weird options and. Can I just them... use a lock to make it work? Cause I gotta, I gotta, I, I gotta fix. 
I rolled a four and a one. So I was going to make it a 12. I was like, hey, kid, just calm down. Uh, everything's going to be fine. We're the good guys. Uh, you know, just <laughs> chill out. Everything's fine. Uh, okay. Hope you're having a lovely day. It's going to be okay. Also, uh, so I was told about the protection sigils and everything, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. I can I roll to remember what the sigils are and begin to write them on the side of the wall of the van? So you guys are nowhere near the van. You're about 500 feet away. No, I'm in my van. Oh, you guys drove up with the car. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We've been, hey. I told him to floor it. Yeah. And yeah. That Sorry. We've been they driving. threw it in reverse. <laughs> Didn't yeah. click in my brain. You guys are in a vehicle. Yeah. Okay. Um, Back it up. So to recap, you two, you two strangers told this child to get into your van. We do look like professionals, <laughs> magicians, well, but yes. <laughs> the van has a very cute shag carpet. Honestly, we are probably the two sketchiest people oh my God. out of the <laughs> entire group. It's like, hey, kid, get in the van oh, right no. now. But that kid also go. just saw, like, a witch like, or a hat. Actually, <laughs> it can't see you guys at the moment. It can't. It's You guys went into his driveway. He has not seen the hag at all. Oh. He hasn't seen any of this. You guys pulled up into his driveway, but 200, 400 feet away from the the actual oh, thing that happened. Boy. So you just, hey, get in the van. All right, and all right, I'm all right. Probably be telling him, hey, get inside. Like, go to your house right now. Either way, now. I roll. I I use a oh, luck to make it a twelve. So Do I get a child in my car? <laughs> I'll say this right now. I spent a summer working at a state fair. Carnies are some of the sketchiest and funnest people you ever hang out with. Yeah. <laughs> Straight back. Okay. Uh, but, um, yeah. Yes, there was now a child in your house. Another thing All I right. should mention that maybe Luke isn't think Luck isn't thinking about, but Logan might be. You don't know if this other house has sigils in it to protect this child. That is true. Um, that is why I'm working on making the sigils in the van currently you to keep. You may try to roll an intelligence check, but however. As you told the kid to get in, you as the kid steps in, you see the creature is right outside your car door. And again, ah! again, can I in use magic? Okay. Uh, can yes. I make it an act under pressure and use my uh, what could go wrong? Because I am literally just like this could maybe work and add a uh, plus two to my uh, act under it pressure is, as I make this. It is not your turn quite yet, but once okay. it is your turn, yes. Depending okay. what Logan does, it will see if you're able to do that. Dope. Cool. So looking at the use magic things, it does say that I can summon a creature to the world. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, lovely. Oh. Thank you. So, like, to, like, you know, do like the whistle. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, like a like dog whistle kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. And um, quite literally summon hounds. Mm -hmm. Like oh. very, very supernatural oh. hounds. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, uh, how, how does that come from the realms beneath, or? Uh, so they kind of just uh, step out of like the mist, kind of a thing. But again, gotcha, gotcha. Very, very supernatural, like Crowley's mm -hmm. guard dogs. Um, mm -hmm. No one sees them it, except for me. Go ahead and roll magic. See if it works. Sweet. Oh. <laughs> you just hear the ethereal, just howling of dogs. I'm going to use a luck because that was a one and a three. <laughs> um, so we're going to use one of my lucks. Okay. Um, you do summon the hounds. Um, all you begin to hear, luck, is large dogs growling. There are wolves in this area, but hopefully not this close to society. You can hear them and they begin to snarl and they're going to start attacking the creature. It does do one harm to them. Um, depending on, on, on its responses, it may attack them or it may attack you, but um, Falstaff and Becky, mm -hmm. now you also drive into the area and you see the creature seeming to be resting with something that neither of you can see. So either the creature's lost its mind um, <laughs> or something is working. What would you like to do? So we now can't see the... the... You... You are no longer on the main road. You have just driven up next to the other vehicle. Yes. Yes. It, you are about tw about 100 feet uh, behind it, kind of to the side. Basically, the car's here, and you guys are here. Right. And now we can't see the it fighting them. 
you can see the creature and it seems to be trying to pull something off it, but you can't see what the- Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, it. sorry, sorry. Yeah, you're talking about yeah. the hounds, sorry. Yes, uh, wolves, yeah. Okay, so we can't see the wolves, but we can see it- It's struggling with something. Struggling with something, okay. Mm -hmm. And it's just like- uh, Oh, as you're uh, driving and you kind of go to a stop, um, a not only do you get the car back with the sigil, you also get a um, a a clip of bullets um, for um, a handgun that you found. Um, oh! I'll get a, a speed loader for my revolver. <laughs> um, and it says, "Use carefully. These weren't easy to find." Oh. Okay. Looking at the bullets, bullets, they look like they're some way out made out of platinum mixed with silver. And oh. looking at the bullets, there are um, sigils on them, basically indicating that they have some sort of also spell cast off them. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Right. I will. Yeah, I couldn't afford that. I like. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately, you only have. There's only five bullets in this case. I have. Like, I, I give have the card. I give the mind. card to Becky. Mm hmm. I like, like, do the action movie style, like, flip out the flip out the revolving chamber, kick it back to kick the empty casings out, speed load the new bullets in, <laughs> spin lock, and that's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh you god! Think you're, you think you're so cool? The, the creature, it takes off the wolves and it looks and sees you, um, Falstaff, and you see one of the eyes glow slightly, and you feel a shiver down your spine. I ju I'm just like, <laughs> at the end of that movement, it's just a stare down. I'm going to try. Um, if you want to wait your next that... turn, you'll have to yeah. wait till your next turn because yeah. of the quick load and all that fancy stuff. Just because we have so many people. So the reload, so, so the reload does take the place of the, of the, like, I will the say, kick your butt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. that's fine. I'm um, just like, I'm staring it down at you and me. This man need, needs business. <laughs> wait till it uh, unbuttons Becky. the second button. Oh man. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, as soon as I get that sigil mm -hmm. on that car, I'm going to like jump into the back of the van um, mm -hmm. take out my silver letter opener, uh, mm -hmm. silver sword. Yeah, we're adding flavor. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna uh -huh. start carving this sigil into like the bottom of the back of the van. Okay. Um, Through... That's unfortunate because that van, that's probably, get, that's, you're damaging, you know, government property, but you know, it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> I do work for the government, but it's fine. You work different for a part different of the, part of the government than I do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Different branch, <laughs> really. <laughs> Iran works for the post office. You don't mess with the post office. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No um, one messes with the post office. <laughs> um, okay, so that's what you can do with your turn. Excellent. Would that um, be a check to see if like I can get that done? I will say this. Turns? You are panic stabbing and scribbling. Um, I will say you act under pressure um, to see okay. how successfully you're able to make all the pretty little lines for the signals. Okay, yeah, I'd like to use my I've read about this sort of thing ability, um, where I can roll sharp instead of cool. You I literally just read about it, too. <laughs> yep, yeah, I've been reading about this for the past two Ooh. days. All right. Ooh, well, that's a nine. On, it's a nine. It's looking pretty solid. By the start of next round, it should be good to go. Okay, okay cool. All right. Um, the creature seems to have removed the dogs. Luck, it is your turn. The creature is back to looking at you. All right, I'm and doing. The child. I'm doing the thing, the sigil thingy, uh, and I'm gonna use my plus two to act under uh, pressure. That's from what could go wrong? Because I'm like, I'm not a hundred percent sure about this, but it's doing something. Uh, so, please work. <laughs> Ten. Ten. I got two fours. Okay. You got two fours plus two. The sigil seems to be made. Okay. Uh, do I? Uh, I'm like, is it working? Can I like put a little magic into it? I just. Um, so you, you stop it. You look at the creature. And the creature looks like it was literally about to either stab its finger through the top of your skull, or like touch you. <laughs> and it stops right outside of the spot where the sigil begins. Um. Mm. It seems to be paused. <laughs> Logan. 
what do you wish to do? Uh, so it's it's close. Like it's it's not in you the car, but it's like right outside you the could car. Step outside and give it a kiss on the cheek. Good morning, if you'd want to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go for a wide left, like a freaking left hook, I guess. <laughs> You're just gonna punch it. Just deck it in the face. <laughs> but I'm going to use my ability of uh, the what's it, the whammy or whatever. Uh, okay. Shoot, what's it? The big whammy, um, where I get to use my weird instead of my top for making a, a close, obvious ignore armor attack. Okay, go for oh it. Oh my gosh. Uh, so quite literally, um, I'm just gonna go for like a full on like left hook and uh, just let magic. <laughs> Kind of like a, like a sparkler cackle over my over my hand. What punch? punch? Okay. <laughs> Pretty much. What punch? That's what I'm going for. One punch, man. Go ahead and roll that will check or that magic check. Uh, plus my weird, so ten. Ten. Let me make sure I'm doing this right. Also, in case you guys are curious as to exactly what we're doing, we're having fun. Like we're not playing this game correctly. We're having fun. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Listen, I couldn't okay. tell you if we're playing it correctly or not. I, I couldn't even play. <laughs> if y'all having fun, that's all that really matters. I don't mm -hmm. care. <laughs> yeah, the way the way that the big whammy works says you use your powers to kick some butt and you roll weird mm -hmm. instead of puff. Okay. The attack. Uh, does, it say much, does it say how much damage it does or no? Uh, plus two. Uh, our uh, the, the attack has a two harm close obvious ignore armor. And okay. then this, you'll get a magical backlash. Um, as you make contact with it, um, similar to um, Doctor Strange, when he hits somebody and you see kind of their spirit leave them, you notice that it's midsection where you deck it. Um, the ribs that, or whatever it has close to ribs seem to dislocate like this and then reset. Um, and now uh. you have the detention um, because uh. that part of the car is protected, not the part of the car you're in. Oh no. Um, and it is going to touch your forehead aggressively. I need you to roll a weird check. Hey, no. Nine plus two, so 11. 11, okay. Nice. You take a single harm and you feel a little cold, but you're good. Mm hmm. Okay. That's what you rolled in a two, right, Becky? Like, you rolled an 11 to save as well. Mm hmm. I, so. I guess so, yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, Fall Staff, you're yes. sitting there, gun ready. What would you like to do? <laughs> <laughs> Take the shot. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm like, going for it. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Oh boy! I'm using my birthday luck oh. to turn that into a twelve. Okay. Because uh, that was a one plus two plus one is would have been a four. <laughs> Solid four. Would have got I'm gonna so use my luck to turn that. Honestly, turn that you probably would have shot your team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm you glad I saved my luck man. up to this point. <laughs> um. How much damage does your gun normally do? Your hand uh, cannon? The revolver that you gave me ammo for is a two harm close reload bomb. So two. Okay. Um, with the magic, it does four instead of two. Oh! Nice. It's a fancy bullets. Um, it does recoil in pain at that point. Um, it's gonna go back to you, and uh, this time point its finger at you, and it is going to stab a little beam of white again. This time through the shoulder with your gun in it. I need you to roll an act under pressure so you can keep a hold of your gun. Okay. Can my... Sure. Well, This is going to do ahead. any harm, yes? Yes. Can I use the 12 on the attack? Can I use the 12 on the attack to sub suffer less harm? Absolutely. Yeah, I'll um, so I'll suffer I... one less. Yes, yeah, so you'll suffer one less. Actually, but, um, wait. That'll... On a 12 enhanced effect... 12 plus on an enhanced effect, I suffer no harm at all. Okay, so it tries to do it. You dodge out of the way Whoa. and it goes clean through your cushion. <laughs> yes. Your seat. Yup! And it just like 
it does the fire at the same time and it just like it's I feel it like oh boom, my gosh right past my head it like it whip. like takes my earpiece off and it's just like <laughs> GM, uh, Becky, it is your turn, yes? I forgot <laughs> that with my what could go wrong, I could also reduce someone's harm suffered by one, and Logan is right next to me. Oh, next time. Next, next time. time you'll... I don't remember. Uh, yeah. But please well, remember that if you It'll get be a read attacked, for next I could, time. Read for yeah. Next because I'm literally doing whatever could go wrong. <laughs> I'm just making <laughs> hasty decisions right now. <laughs> Um, seeing the, I don't think I'm putting together that the sigil needs to be written multiple times all over the, I don't think I'm putting that together. Um, so I just see this thing still attempt to attack and realize, well, sigil didn't work. We're using the other option. Um, and I jump back into the passenger seat, uh, just like kind of say mostly to myself, but false stuff you can hear. Posture check. Oh, Um, yes. Thank you. I've delivered mail before a holiday weekend before, and I pull a shotgun out of my mail. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my kind of mail delivery person. Let's go. <laughs> and I, I um, oh, I'm going to take a shot. <laughs> oh, my it. gosh. Ooh, that's a nine, and that's a tough check, correct? Yes. To, to Ten kick some total. booty. Oh, Ten. my gosh. Yeah, it's 11 11. Make a wish. Mail's here. Be- <laughs> Female dog. Yeah. This bulldog. <laughs> There's the rainbow. Um, it does a it does some damage, but not as much as you'd hope. Um. The creature turns towards um you, and it's going to um look at everyone, and then look at the child. The child seems to be frozen for a moment. And it's so in... is the creature. It's, it's in the sigil. Yeah, okay. It's not touching the child. Got it. Mm. Um, it is now Lux's turn. Mm. The creature and the child are making eye contact. Prolonged eye contact. Prolonged <laughs> eye contact. <laughs> Prolonged <laughs> eye contact. <laughs> uh, I put the shades on him. Okay. Um, just for that, roll me a weird check. Just no, okay. no modifiers, anything like that. Just okay. Well, well, your modifiers, but just see what happens. How much do I get to add to that? Yeah, you're weird. Okay. I got a nine plus one. I got a ten. Nice. Okay. Um, the child seems to snap out of whatever it was. I just look at him like, um, "Are you says, okay, kid?" Uh, yeah, uh, and the, the child actually collapses, like, and falls to the floor of the um, the car. Luck continues to panic and be like, "I don't know what I'm doing." <laughs> you put the shades on the kid? Yes, I put. Yeah, I that's that's good job. You did it. I did a panic thing. <laughs> okay. Logan. Is Logan. Oh, it's my turn? Okay. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, so, okay, so help me understand where everyone is. So, so you are still right next to the creature. Um, uh, Luck and the child are in the back of the car with you. Um, the co- child just collapsed, and you hear Luck panicking because the child just collapsed. Uh, you hear a hand cannon go off, and the creature seems to respond to it. Um, and you also just heard a shotgun also probably do some damage to the van. Oh no! That's how shotguns work. Mm-hmm. Oh no! no. You know. Yeah, a shotgun is three harm close, messy. <laughs> yeah, it's messy for sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, you did a shotgun! I totally forgot about that. I can do this. There we go. There you go. Well, thing everything about this so far. Okay. We're guys. We're at. Four hours. We are so four. close to being done. You guys have to do a so little good. more damage. This thing is dead. Finish this off. Finish it we off. Gotta, I we am, gotta finish it off. I, this is I like wanna a use my magic rat. Pull my rabbit out of my hat again. Just... 
<laughs> I'm, I'm assuming that this thing is right outside the side of the van, like a sliding panel oh, van. I think right now it's sandwiched between our two vans. Yeah. Like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like our you, vans, you I imagine them being like decently far apart from each other, yeah. but it's just like jumping. That's a, yeah. It's yeah. it's between the two, but yeah, the two yeah, are think, spread out. I think the Wolverine movie, the guy that could teleport like to and fro, it's basically doing that as it's fighting okay. your, your squads. Yeah. Got it. I just thought this thing had like legs of freaking like mass. It was just jumping. It's doing laps. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> running, bang, running, bang. <laughs> Slap. <laughs> it's like one of those side scroller video games from the 90s. Like you just run over, kick, kick, go the other way, punch, punch. <laughs> okay. uh, I guess we'll, we'll do the weird. Uh... Ma use magic thing um and i was just reading this so i'm gonna ask oh oh keeper tell me mm -hmm. can i can i do a big magic what oh yeah i forgot that that's a thing entail? big magic big huh? magic i didn't hear the question what what do you want it to be the big magic to be uh so again so again you know i, I did the left hook just punch and then pulling mm -hmm. back you know, opening my hand and like making it look like I'm grabbing something and mm -hmm. just having like a weapon kind of materialize as I go for another swing. Okay. Um, I will say this. You're going to have to do at least one harm to yourself um, to basically draw the blood required for the weapon to like form out of your blood. Mm -hmm. um, if okay. you roll less than a 10 for it to still work, it's going to cost you another harm. Okay. I'm willing to risk it. It's going to be um, oh. Can I also give him a help out? Um, how would you be assisting with this specific thing? You gonna stab him? <laughs> or are you going to give him your blood for it? <laughs> oh no! You know what? Sure, why not? I'll take the harm. I haven't taken one harm. Okay. I'll I'll do my ability where I reduce the harm by one, and take it instead. Okay, I'll allow that if you're okay with that, Logan. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sure. Uh, so, so how I'll much harm? So, contact with Buck and so. Just, just so basically, quiet. to be clear, mm -hmm. I can reduce harm. Wait, mm -hmm. is it just to myself or to just my fellow uh, people? Reduce someone's harm suffered by one. It doesn't specify whether the someone is me or I, somebody else. I will say you can because roll it he's otherwise. using big magic, okay. it's going to still do the damage to someone no matter what. Okay, because cool. Of the spell he's trying to I am fine with that. Uh, so okay. I take one harm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm still okay. Go but, ahead and so, roll weird. Yeah. I just did. What did you roll? <laughs> oh, we can see it. Is that Again? double sixes? <laughs> double Big sixes? Magic! Okay. <laughs> With my plus one, that's also given because I helped out. Mm -hmm. uh, With my okay. Plus two, weird. So 15? 15. I Big was going magic. to say that was going to be three damage, but because you rolled a 15, I'll make it an even five. Yeah. Which brings us to the next question. How would you like to do this? Oh! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Logan will again like look at Locke and kind of like do that like are you okay with this kind of a, like look and just like that, that He's just quiet. like hell yeah. like yeah <laughs> and pull back and as he pulls back just the shadows coalesce into like the form of a sight he, oh, he and, he just go <laughs> and go for the neck okay the creature's head rolls clean off and as it does... Oh, that would have been better for the dogs. Sorry. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. The large flowing cloak of this creature opens up, and you see not just the kid that went missing yesterday, but the kid from before fall to the ground, both looking a little hungry, a little cold, but mostly okay. They are unconscious. All right, I've got some Slim Fast bars in the car here. Yeah. <laughs> before you're able to do anything... Luck to Two things. You hear sirens Ooh, wait. from behind you, and you hear the car coming up from the the, the house not too far down the road. Because mm. you guys are breaking and entering. 
You could also oh, shoot so a lot of guns in a yeah. residential neighborhood. Um, yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to like throw some fl Slim Flaps bars out. Okay. And okay. then I'm going to kick the kid out of the car and just okay. be like, all right, everybody, let's get out of here and use my ability to get that. Two things. Arm yeah. Tonight. Two <laughs> things. Two things that happen right before he does. I mm -hmm. take the shades off the kid. I give mm -hmm. them to Luck. I like shove them onto his face and I'm pulling okay. my pen device out of the front mm -hmm. pocket and I just like line the kids up and I just, and I'm just like, shades, shades. Feels, shades, shades on. And I just like point the device straight at them and I just like, feel just stare into the light for me. They are all um, unconscious. There is a way to do it via injection. Um, they're all unconscious? They are all unconscious. Then I yeah, will instead. Yeah, the one who passed out. <laughs> You're just gonna stab them real quick. I'm flashing for good measure. <laughs> Damn it! I wanted to have my cool men in black moment. Well, <laughs> like, will you the just cops stare? Might catch you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, um, I'll still, I'll still like just. <laughs> oh. What <laughs> is that? Is that is that safe enough? What? No. Uh, he used his profanities. Oh no! He, the, 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 darn it! <laughs> Four I, I am marking up my Four swear jar shame. because I am in so many streams. So, <laughs> I, have, <laughs> I have one. I have one. I have one too. Okay. Um. All right. All right. And I will just say, to, yeah. I'll just like, <laughs> like fast print a note. I, I will say this. Fall stall. As you guys are going away, a police car does pull by and ask what happened, and you're able to, um, yeah. as he figures out, like, what's going on, why does your car look like this, was there a shootout, what's going on, you're like, eh. I j yeah, okay, so uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I that, okay. I'll do okay. that instead, yeah. So we're getting out of here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I am going to take, so mm -hmm. real quick, I'll leave Falstaff mm -hmm. with, with like, the, just the van and whatnot, and the kids, mm -hmm. and I'm going to take Becky and Logan, and we're going to use my ability of let's get out of here, because we're yeah. not officials. Yeah, no. y'all go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, I so. can't get arrested. I have work on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> How get there? So let's get out of here, and I just <laughs> press the red button, and, mm -hmm. <laughs> and, like, just fog comes right. out my back okay. end. Act, so, uh, cap, use act under pressure to see if you can get out of there without any severe consequences. Yeah, before oh, uh, the car pulls up. Oh, yeah, yeah cuz I can use okay. Um, I can also choose an uh, yeah, whatever. Roll charm instead of tough. So I can roll charm instead of tough. So What is that? Uh, because I have a plus 2 to charm. I rolled a 6, but I have a plus two to charm, so I have an eight. Ooh. All right, let me. All right, um, I'm going to give you a worse outcome, a hard choice, or a price to pay. So, as you try to turn the car and you get it a certain ways out of line of sight of where the police car is coming, either A, your car breaks down, you're going to have to go the rest of the way on foot, or B, one of the police vehicles follows after you, you're going to have to try to lie your way out of it. Oh, I'm poor. I can let the car. The car makes sense to break down. On brand for this car. Yeah, that's on brand. Yeah, and the yeah. shotgun blast. Yeah, you know. Well, no, that was the other car. That, that, got the that would blast. be perfect for what I'm about to do so, here too. Yeah, we'll break down think, halfway yeah. through and just be like, oh man. <laughs> All right. So okay. you just, I just look to them and I'm like, get out of here, get out of here. I've got this. And I like slip on my shades. And I'm ready to talk to this officer. It is not deputy. Um, it's not the deputy that you met earlier. It seems to be the actual quote unquote sheriff or higher ranking law officer. Is that wondering what in blazes is going on here? Uh, <laughs> I left the rangers to not deal with random gunshots in the middle of that. What's going on? Uh, good evening, officer. Uh, hey, would you mind just uh? And I just like flash it right in their eye. He happens okay. to be wearing sunglasses. This is gonna be like an act under pressure. And I, as like with my sunglasses down. And here mm -hmm. is exactly what I say, whether you want this to be a role or not. Okay. Uh, we've now listen here. We have apprehended. I've apprehended the suspect in the back of my van. They were driving this van around. They were taken down by some of our close range support, and we have uh, we have secured all of the children that have gone missing in the last uh we've secured the children that have gone missing 
you have a wonderful rest of your night because we've got the rest of this taken care of. And I, like, so I'm basically using mm -hmm. Lux Van as a cop out for the real perpetrator was in this yeah. van. I would like you to roll to manipulate someone a plus one because of your little tzitzit. All right, here we go. Hold on. That's a seven. All right. Um, that's it. Really? Can I see the perpetrator in the back of your vehicle? And I say... <laughs> Can you just look um, at this light again? <laughs> or... <laughs> no, no, or... Or... You don't get any credit or press for this, and you'll say that I take the perpetrator, and you get the F triple asterisk out of here. <laughs> I get no credit, and I, but I get to get off scot-free. Potentially, yes. Might That's be because fine. you're the birthday boy. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm just like, y'all have a nice night. And I just like. Just start walking. Yeah. I don't leave <laughs> my van. To be is fair, your van point? is also missing a, no, no, you didn't leave your van. No. Um, but I will say this. You are missing a door from your van if you have Yeah. Fine. I've, and, I, it's, a it's, and, and a windshield. <laughs> it's a GI. I can be comped for it. it that was all well, part of the, taking the perp down. There is also that your seat that that thing went through, that ice beam, is now frozen solid ice. <laughs> and there's also a hole through your back window slash pathway through one of the back doors. So like, that, she's that, a bit of a fixer upper. It's fine. Yeah, sure, it's, sure. Again, it's a bit of a fixer upper. Yeah. <laughs> but they can, they'll forget this whole thing. If I just like, if I just give them the credit for it, that's my one job, baby, is to <laughs> is clean up crew. They can have all the credit they like. So tomorrow in the papers, there's stories about how, um, unfortunately, you weren't able to wipe the kid's memory who did see the Baba Yaga. Um, so they tell the story of this giant, scary creature, and there's a little side article about how local Christians say that the media is too violent and too dangerous and that we need to cut back on letting them see such scary, such terrible things. Um, it's them dang Pokemon oh. games. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> it's that. These dang video games. Them Dungeons and Dragoners. Oh, God. <laughs> um, but all of you go back to your collect spots. Some of you down on your luck more than others. Um, I will immediately, I, as soon as we're out of the situation, we're just back in, uh, we're back in uh, the, like the- Crack cr den. The crack den. Uh-huh. I'll look to luck and I'll be like, I'll just hand him like one of my hound cards, my paperwork hound cards, not my, mm -hmm. like, yeah. and I'll just be like, we always have a seat open for you in Idaho. But Idaho sounds so boring. <laughs> <laughs> it's available. Just if you he start like seeing more strange, it's kind of like no. <laughs> if, you, if you start, if you keep experiencing strange stuff on the pathway to your dream, you know who to call. And I just magic, baby. It's always weird. You know it. And I um, hop back into my car. I smack him on a boat. I pretend it. I pretend <laughs> Oh my. Um. I, pretend, I pretend to close my door, which is gone. And I'll just like, and I'll just like, wait, astral highway my way back to Idaho. As you're going back, um, um, Hug Dog um, gives you both, everyone who stays, um, three drinks. Um, and um, a free round of um, uh, or orders everyone pizza as long as they're willing to um, deal with their terrible taste. 
Um, and whichever flavor you disagree with the most is the one thing on there because we're not going to argue about yeah. pizza toppings right now. Yeah. <laughs> so, I just want to. I just want to point this out. I've had this mm -hmm. sound effect the entire time, and you take the door off. Yeah. <laughs> um, Becky. Um, you get a little party, and so do you, Luck and Logan, for being successful as your first official case. As did we get paid? Um, not from her, not from Hugnut. <laughs> okay, I just ripped my pants Enron, off and Enron activate will forward, the. Enron will forward a notice to you. Um, Logan, you go back to your little place in Brotherton. Your little closet friend is sitting there. He's having a little demon party. Uh, nothing too major. They're all just vibing. Um. Mm -hmm. Becky, you enjoy your time there. Uh, Lucky, you're actually able to get a show. Um, Hubbub does help you out a little bit, get you a little little job. Um, but fall staff, as you're going on the astral highway, you receive a vehicle walks up to you and receives he hands you an envelope with the name um, Logan Baxter on it and shows you a photograph of him. Um, and it says wanted for questioning and escape from the other realm. And that's what ends next session. Oh! <laughs> All right, everybody. <laughs> oh, sorry. Go thank on. you so much for going with this venture with me, uh, friends that I watched and you guys here. This went a little longer than I wanted to. I'm so it's sorry. Fine. Four and a half hours is more than worth it for what you've yeah. given us tonight, it's friend. Fantastic, oh my man. gosh. It's very fun. This is one of the most fun things I've done on my birthday in a long time. Oh, dude, don't say that. You're gonna make <laughs> I'm, this I'm going to. It's too late. I already said it. <laughs> <laughs> this has uh, been great. And to those of you watching for the for the fundraiser for the charity, uh, thank you for so far having raised a hundred and thirty dollars. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. crap. We've hey. uh, two of uh, two the two largest contributors, all of course. Uh, well, the two largest contributions coming from the same person. Uh, thank you so much. Th thank you very much for your contribution. Uh, you have been in, uh, put into the raffle, so of course, you currently of course. have six or no, you have 12. <laughs> no, uh, they have uh, this person has one person has 10, the other person has two. What? Uh, yeah. No, there like are 12... every 10 on top of it is another entry. That's what I mean. So. Danny did... gets 10. Uh, Primal gets two. No, Primal has three because they did 20. Oh, Primal gets. Oh, right. Because it's 10 plus another, and then you get. You're to right. Add... Yeah. 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 Sorry. I forgot Give to add the initial 10s. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. 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 Yeah. 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 It's hard to do math this later. It's so almost three, and midnight, and I have to wake up in four hours, you guys. guys. All right, you guys. <laughs> This Weird. has been day one of the Fall Initiative. Thank you so much for watching. Brett, thank you so much for DMing mm -hmm. for us. It's been an absolute blast. Thank you for visiting Telegraphy. Mm -hmm. uh, you can find all of these wonderful people on TikTok. Thank you, Grim Exodus, for visiting us. Uh, and from us to you at Adventures in Initiative, until next time, your adventure matters and roll for initiative. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye.